Previously. Previously on the Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Well, great. He's going to broadcast. No, school. hold on. One, I just want him to be Jewish so he'd be Clemstein. Two, <laughs> broadcasting schools for losers. No real radio personnel. I guarantee you Glenn Beck didn't go to broadcasting school. And secondly, that'd be like LeBron James saying, I'm going to send my kid to a basketball clinic. LeBron James is your dad, bitch. He can teach you everything you need to know. Idiot. Got yeah, minds. I, I know. Well, but still, though, I want him to be more technically proficient than his father's. I'm very, good, very good on the board as far as shut up. You don't even know nothing. Wow. You're listening, You're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Broadcast show. rights for the Bubba the Love Sponge Show have been granted to this station by the Bubba Radio Network and is intended solely for the enjoyment of your listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use in this production without the express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is strictly prohibited. Bubba the Love Sponge Show. Like cool it now. Cool it now. Cool. Uh, the Bubba Lump Sponge Show. Thursday, March 30th. Phew. I gotta remind uh, is, you. Is of it something. hot? Yeah, Matt Hoxie. Yes. I got it. And uh George Zimmerman, not the guy who killed Trayvon Martin, but there's a great, and I think he might be from Orlando, is he? I believe he is. Man, how would you like to be named George Zimmerman, but you're not the real George Zimmerman, that just happens to be your name. It's kind of hilarious. And not not only that, but live in the same area Ugh. that the not so, fa- or the famous, but kind of a dick George Zimmerman. What's he, do- like, what is the dick George Zimmerman doing nowadays? He's in trouble for something. He got in trouble all the time because he yeah. was like Johnny trying to be. He was that kind of guy that was like thinks he's a cop. Well, I know one thing is if I went somewhere and uh, they said, hey, we'll put you down for a reservation. What's your name? He'd be like, uh, Tony Smith. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, George Zimmerman and Matt Hoxie contributions yesterday uh, on the Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, all at the Bubba Army. Sells, Thank you so much. Uh, this is from 2022. He's selling art. Art. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. I wonder what Casey Anthony's doing. We had a story about her recently. Yeah. yeah getting she, loose, getting drunk. Yeah. She's still, I think, is she still pretty, you know, hot? Is she still pretty hot? I think for a, I think for a so. while she was hooking up with some, like, rich rich guy or a like, guy that had money. I don't know if that's still the case. That'd be a, that'd be kind of a, mm, it'd be a hot hookup, if, but it could get away from you. I mean, like, you'd be hot knowing that I'm blasting a girl that's capable of killing me. She just turned 37. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. Does she got an Insta or a OnlyFans or all that kind of deal? She should, for real. Yeah. I'm, unless, I mean, unless some part of her sentence was that she, well, no, I don't, I, was there, was What it, sentence? She wasn't found guilty. Oh, yeah, that's she right. Was she, was, she was innocent. So she could do whatever she wanted. And I think she has sold the right. I think she has been paid for uh, some things that she has done, some interviews and things like that that she's participated in. I think she got paid. According to Celebrity Net Worth, what do you think her net worth is? Five million. Two million. Anna. Put the tea down, Anna. Uh, put, the, put the black coffee down and the bell. Three and, and, million. <laughs> According to Celebrity Net Worth, her net worth is. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> really? And she's not working it because, man, That's if she, she still did that interview, if, you, if somebody can send me, uh, uh, like maybe kind of a whatever the newer picture or an updated picture, or maybe even her, if she's got an Instagram or whatever, that bitch could go to only if she's still hot, which I'm sure we, she is. We saw a video of her like less than a year ago, and she was hot. Remember so, the cops came? Someone was heckling her at a bar. Yeah, she got some, into a fight. Some sites, fight. some yeah. sites list her net worth as negative one million dollars. Because she probably owes Jose Baez. I thought she uh, supposedly was she was bla- supposedly she was blasting him, and right. I think it wasn't that a thing that. Uh, here, let me ask Alexa. Did Casey Anthony have sex with Jose Baez to pay off her legal bill? Hmm. hmm. I don't know that one. Of course, you never know the scandalous stuff. Yeah, I think that was a big. That was kind of a big thing in the fact that they had speculated that they had hooked up, and I and I thought I thought that I had seen. That they had maybe hooked up even while they were prepping for trial. That's what that, that, that's what the rumors were. That like when they were at his office late at night, that she would oral him. Mm. That's kind yeah, of that's like from twenty twenty. Yes, please. Two. Oh. Mm. 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 
Hawk in this uh, documentary. She is? Docu-series. Yeah. No, is that actually her? Yeah, well, that's from her. Okay. That's, yeah. And Casey like, Anthony, Where the Truth Lies. No, is she I probably, in the documentary? I probably, I probably would watch it. I mean, I probably would watch and it. It's, and it says the trailer. Casey in 2016 said that her and Bias had a sexual relationship before she went on trial. Yeah. Oh, God. So that's exactly what I said, right? Before she went on trial, yeah. so that means while they were pre- listen, when you go on trial and her and listen, I've been I've been on I've been on trial f- four times. <laughs> I mean, I was facing five years in prison. Certainly wasn't facing the death penalty or whatever else she was. But nonetheless, you, did you have a sexual relationship with any of your lawyers? No, I did not. Oh. I had you know just Dan. I didn't give oral to Jay or Steve or anybody. Oh wow, Kevin, Kevin. That's that's why that's why Dan actually became an attorney. He felt he felt like, that. like he was missing out on the or, hot chick oral and deal. Yeah. No, but like um, you know, I you, you have to spend you know you you trial prep. You actually prep, and they'll put you like in uh, the mock trial. Yeah, they'll put you like in the corner in a chair, and they'll just start grilling you as if they were the defense on all the curveballs that could potentially go your way. You know that they're not they're just holding your hand saying, "Okay, everything's going to be How great." Are you prepared? They're going to be like, "No." When they ask you this, what are you going to say? <laughs> Uh huh. You know, and then they. Oh no! I don't know. I was on pills. I was on pills. It says the private investigator said uh, that's how Casey Anthony paid her lawyer with sex. He, See, I told you. He claimed he heard Bias tell her she owed him some uh, three Papo lops uh, after uh, after each uh, law like law meeting. All right. So after each time we get together, you owe me three. You owe me three Orleans. Yeah. Yes. She's a free person because of him. She should continue this on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she should be there. Like it should be a, every Friday Orlin, right. right? Or whatever. She should just be on call, ass call, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's oh, hello, Casey Anthony. Yeah, it's Jose. I'm real horny. I'm up to two hundred and five. <laughs> yeah, you know, come on, start knocking him down. Mm-hmm. Did you think you could get over here tomorrow about noon? <laughs> Daytime stuff's really hot in my office with your jugs against the glass. The entire office listening. Oh yeah, just saying. Um, anyway, can you, I mean, if she's, if she's able to may have maintained her hotness, I mean, only fans, my Lord, that bitch from the, the cash me outside bitch, what is she's doing? Like a, mil, like a million a month. And she's so disgusting. Oh, and she's she disgusting. Yeah, I saw that and she was in prep. That's why I brought it up organically. So I knew I'd hit it on the backside. So that's what pros do, babe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just you are. I'm just kidding you, honey. Yeah, but she is gross. Guess well, what? Guess the, the one, what? Let me. Blah, 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 well, I was going to say Black China gave up OnlyFans and is now a big time Christian. Oh, really? Oh, God. Yeah. She was like the number one earner on Maybe Only that's Fans what we should do. Hey, praise the Lord. Hi, it's Bubba. I've sinned a lot. I know you have too. It's all trying to start working our way back to Jesus a little bit. I got so far off the beaten path, my Lord. I was making sex tapes and. I was going to poo poo that idea, but however. Amen, brother. Hey, hey, yeah, man. thank you. Preach it, brother. Hey, let you make X if we continue to do it our way, but you make five times X if we do right. start marking out to God. Can I use that <laughs> private jet we're going to get? Yeah, because right. you know what? Satan, I can't be in a big tube mm-hmm. full of devils. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be in a smaller private tube full yes. of my friend, my people exactly. who are just as devilly as to be honest with you. Even worse. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, all those big time. Preachers have got private jets. I'll make a lot of money. I don't know, man. If I got real, 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 real rich again, I don't know if I would own a private jet. I might just get part of that, like, fractional ownership. Yeah, and that jet's wheels yeah, up. that's way better. Don't forget, Lummy, if it, um, uh, fop you double, if it fop you double cops, <laughs> flies or floats, it's cheaper to rent it. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wise words. Unless you're really, really rich, then you don't care about that, how much your jet annual cost or how much your slip fee is. You know, if you're just that sure. rich. You know, but if you're kind of rich, then, you know, you like when I was kind of rich, I really blew a lot of money that I didn't need to. I didn't need a plane. Well, I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. I mean, honestly, too, like your plane was... A, a very reasonable plane. Yeah, my honest to God, my plane was forty six hundred dollars a month, but then it was like another thousand to store it. So now you're at fifty six. Mm-hmm. All right, then it's like uh, cost per hour. Just plane cost is about five fifty to six hundred an hour. 
uh, uh, with regards to if you depreciate what your annual maintenance yes. is going to be and all that, it's like five or six hundred an hour dead cost. Either you, you're going to end up paying that, and then you got your pilot. So you know, it's expensive. It gets mm-hmm. expensive, it, and most people, most people that have planes don't have the sweetheart pilot deal that I had. I mean, I had you know, Ted would fly me around for three hundred a day, right? I mean, and that's nothing. Like that's nothing. And he would, you know, like he would, it was, he loved Tyler's racing and was like part of the crew. Yeah. You didn't have to keep him on retainer. No, or... no. And a lot of times we would double bunk up together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And get tired, make Tyler sleep on the couch just to save some money. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Flying on a private plane, but you make your pilot sleep with you. Right. <laughs> Yeah, normally, right? like normally, either you're either gotta fly him back or uh, pay for a rental car and a hotel room. Yeah, and and they get paid whether they're f- correct a, a they're, daily if, fee whether they're in the air or on the ground. Yep. This is what are uh, the ten preachers? There's private jets. In. Oh, uh, Kenneth Copeland has a Gulfstream Five. That's the one we're talking about with the devil. tubes with the devil. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah. Um. Uh, Jesse. Duplantis has a Falcon 7X. Uh, Jerry S- Savell has a Cessna 500. What is that like? A, it's a citation. Uh, Joyce Meyer has a Gulfstream 4. Oh. Uh, Cleo Dollar or whoever. Creflo Dollar. Creflo has a, Dollar. He, oh, he's really, he's really slumming it. He's got a Gulfstream 3. Oh, what a job. Now, Joe Olstein has an Airbus A319. Is that a big one? Yeah, that's like what spirit flies. That's what he's got. Yeah, yeah, since he can carry between uh, like 140 people. Yeah, what? <laughs> Paul and Jan Crouch. They have a bomb bombardier bombardier uh, bomb. Yeah, bombardier 700 BD 700 Global Express Challenger. Deal. Oh, they also have a Hawker XP 800. Isn't that a little older though? Uh, I mean, yeah. Oh, they have two planes. Tom used to own a Hawker. Uh, yeah, Pat Robertson's got a Learjet 35. That's teeny tiny, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Yeah, mm-mm. And then Mark uh, Barclay has a Citation 3, and I think that's kind of what, what Tony used to... I think that's what kind of Tony has now. That's what he's got now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, probably. Jeez. That's the the pastors or the, the big sling and D's. Yeah. With what they're doing. Yeah, preaching. Preaching on the <laughs> oh, planes. I actually got... Um, <laughs> I was I had my telemed deal yesterday at um at five o'clock. Oof. And I was like starting to go in and out of consciousness at that time. <laughs> so my doctor gets on. And well, first of all, I'm really up in my sex and lies. Sex is it sex lives? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, net, net my Netflix show, Sex Lives. I'm really into it. Anna, how did you did you make any more additional progress on it or not? Oh no, 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 not at all yesterday. Oh hold on. I got a feeling as if I'm being selfish. And you may have some 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 stuff that went. You sound horrible, or you sound exhausted, or you sound mad, or you sound tired, or you sound uh, some like something's disturbing you. Oh no, no! It was just y- yesterday we went to uh, Lakeland for the for the whole oh, day for the sun and fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. Mm-hmm. Now, are you starting to dig at? Are, are you are you kind of? See, that would be something I'd absolutely love. Like I would. Like if Blitz didn't take you, I, he I certainly would want to go because I'm you know obviously not the aviation nut he is, but mm-hmm. I like but I love aviation, right. so like I like it. You on the other hand are complete like you didn't you weren't into aviation at all before you started getting the Blitz D, right? 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 Like now you know, we're two at like years maybe ago, like four percent into it. No, I four. Okay, wow. maybe 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 ten. Maybe t- fifty. Okay. No, maybe, maybe five. Maybe yeah, five. All right, let's ask the guy that is experiencing <laughs> the you're you know you're you accompanying him to these events. Yeah. Blitz. What would you from one to ten from zero to ten? Oh, oh, we're not out of one hundred. No, no, we're gonna oh. we're gonna narrow oh. it down even more. Oh, oh S. that's way big. That, oh, that's a, I thought we were out of a hundred. Yeah, no, me too. No. We were. Zero, zero, it's at five percent. Anna tried yeah. to make it. Anna tried to make it a hundred scale. Oh, I'd like to dumb it down a little bit. And make it a zero to ten scale. Okay, so can we do like point five? Oh wow! I was gonna say, can you well, use that's decimals? Five percent. Wow. Wow. She's not into it, huh? No, she's way into it now. <laughs> it was zero before. Now it's point five. Exactly. <laughs> if we're making progress. 
<laughs> wow. I Anna, just because he's your man, I, you should roll out with I mean you're you should start at a two. Just 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 because he likes it, you should be a two. Yeah. Just, I mean, getting in the car and going over there and asking some questions and knowing a few things puts you That was two. my favorite part was the drive there. It was nice. <laughs> okay, Anna, so what did you learn? If I was to, like, say, Anna, by Monday, you have to come up with a Lakeland Sun and Fun book report. Yeah. What, what did you just off the top of your head learn yesterday? What did you see? How to go? Well, we saw lots of different planes initially. Uh, the the F thirty five seemed to be the star of the show. I would say. Now, did the F thirty five ever come down on the ground where you could get up close to it? Uh, probably what about f- 50, 60 feet away from it? Thought, it was yeah. all coned around. All right, so they coned it all because mm-hmm. they don't want an uh, active, you know, like they have the jets. Like when we went to Fort Walton Beach, they're retired and and you know you, they're not ever going to fly again. So some guy would you know poke a hole in the wing or something like that. Then. Well, obviously, you shouldn't do that, but right, you right. can get up and touch the planes and get close to them because they're never going to fly again. Yeah. But any plane that's going to, that's an active plane that they could fire back up, they don't want you to have. Oh, you can, uh, I mean, other than the F-35s, you can walk up, touch, do whatever, uh, any of the planes. Real, well, not oh. not in one that costs 20 or 30 million, billions. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? I yeah. didn't think that they would allow hmm. planes that they're going to go, you know. Yep. Wow. I mean, to be honest, it's pretty hard to mess one up. And they have people, like, standing there watching it. Right. So, So, Anna, uh, the F-35 seemed to be the the Cinderella of the show? I think so. There was a lot of prop planes. There was a woman who, uh, her name is Patty Waggleberry or something. She was flying. She's, like, almost 70, and she got a big pop because she's a chick. Right. What did she fly in? A prop plane. A little prop plane. Mm -hmm. An extra. Right. What else did uh, I learn? An aerobatic plane. Well, Anna, you're uh, already spruce, at... You're already Big at. plane made out of spruce wood. Spruce goose. Spruce goose. Right. <sighs> I saw F-16, so that was kind of cool. And I, that looked more stealthy than the F-35, but I guess it's not, because that's just the way it goes. Anna, just the information <laughs> that you're spewing out of your little your little peanut head yeah. right now has you at, a, <clears throat> at almost a two. Well, that's Apparently the F-35 can break the sound barrier, but it doesn't because then it would blow out everyone's ears. And I was like, why doesn't it do that during war? And, and Blitz said, sometimes it does. And I said, yeah, oh, during okay. war, they, they know, there's no speed right. limit. Right, I mean, there's if you're no going to bomb them anyways, war. who cares? Right. Blitz, I think that's probably the, like, the, that's, that's the, there's no speed limit during war. Not well, <laughs> no, there are some rules, but yeah, no, yeah, for the you most know, part, like no. you know, hey, listen, you can, you can only draw, you can only fly your F 35 over the air, you're gonna bomb at just just right under sound. Oh, sound barrier, so the poor people down below don't get their eardrums blown. I out. almost pooped myself Why? when uh, I, I didn't know that they were gonna do like uh, explosions, they had a, they had a B 25. Mitchell, B twenty five Mitchell. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I that. tried to pull out my phone to record it, and I swear to God, I just like threw my phone up in the air because I was not expecting an explosion. So uh, that was She's really like, embarrassing. They're, they're not going to drop bombs. Said, yeah, yeah, they are. And yeah, they, he's they, like, oh, they're they going to drop they bombs. The, you know, they do pyro. Right. So that Simu- freaked simulated. me out. Right. Um, but it, that was cool. That's another, that's another blitz. One of blitz's, you know, categories, pyro. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And then they had, by the way, he was maxed out at a 10 while you were running at about a 0. 0.5. He's more. just, you know, he was just absolutely maxed out. Oh, he had with, more toys than anybody there. Yeah. Oh, he had like two of the like radios, uh, obviously his phone. See, blitz, blitz is stuff. kind of is so aviated out that he's listening to the, Scanner frequencies of the air traffic controllers, and he knows what's, oh, yeah. com- what's coming in. He knew more than the um, announcers. Than the announcers because yeah. they're like, "Oh, this is gonna, this one's gonna drop bombs," and then he's like, "No, it's not," and it didn't. And he's like, "This one is," uh, you know, Blitz is telling me this one is, and then Blitz everyone is was surprised. Monitoring the channel that the whole everybody well, that's, yeah. that's running other. the show, yeah, yeah, he's listening to that and everything. So they're yeah. they're, they're trying. To, they're How does Blitz hold stuff? all this stuff in his backpack? Oh, and his backpack. Mm-hmm. His backpack has to weigh five, f- 15, 20 pounds. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty heavy. Because you got all that equipment in there. You have to have it all charged up and everything. Mm-hmm. Was there a lot of walking? Uh, like, not not crazy amounts. We did uh, sneak into the the night show. We're like, let's see how far <laughs> oh, we can go. Because we were like, we didn't like want to walk. Real outlaws. Look at you. <laughs> we went from walking... Uh, three miles to walking 40 feet. <laughs> yeah. What do you I mean? I just said, let's just see how close we can get. And I would drive up, and literally people that were at the gates were like, okay, go ahead. So I'm like, all right. So I, I made it basically to the flight line. Yeah, it was crazy. And I just parked right there. Wow. Like next to all the planes. 
So look at you, Anna. Did, then, Anna, you know, of course, the probably the road his on the way home for, oh, for yeah. having such He's a great got day. Pictures. Yeah. No, I mean, like, listen, what better way to pay your man back from an ev- just a star-studded right. event? Than- and by road his, you mean her snoring? I've, I'm confused. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. super tired. Road his, road his, road his lo- I'm sorry, road his blitz in your world's far different than, you know, yes. the road his I expect. Yes. Yours is. Correct. Was I really snoring? No, not really. Oh. I bet you she snores a little bit, though. A little bit, but not yeah. not. Yeah, not just really. she's just I, don't, I don't snore though. She's she's in. Engin- oh, I'm not trying to be God. mean or nothing, but you're engineered to snore on her for a girl. Yeah, you know. Uh-huh. Blit does Blit snore? Not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't really snore that much anymore. I really don't. You know? No, I really don't Is snore. Because every time Rich Crick uh, tries to tell you, you're like, "Shut up, bitch." You know. <laughs> I, I really I really don't snore that much. That's oh. cool. Now the heavier I get, like three hundred, honest to God, I you know how everybody I really know my body. I do. Mm-hmm. And now that sounds a little, you know, stupid coming from a fat guy. Like usually Johnny Fitness would say that. You know, I really know my body. But you know, I really do I think I think, I think everybody, everybody knows their body. Yeah, I mean kinda like you you, you kinda uh, if you if you pay attention your body you know like uh, you just know your body <clears throat> and at 300 pounds is where I kind of don't snore anymore. If I'm below 300, I don't snore. If I'm above 300, I snore. Yeah. Hmm. Is, is that, let me, is that kind of how, you have a weight? Yeah. It yeah, probably makes it's, sense. It's, it's probably to... how much you're choking your, you know, your windpipe off sure. on the fat, you yeah. know, based on how you're contorting around. I'm pretty much the same, 300, and I'm I'm chopping wood. <clears throat> Solid wood, whatever. I got to thank you. I can only imagine how big of a snorer you could potentially be. Oh, I, what I think I, when I got to like 335, it was really bad. But right. Now, where are you right now? About 292. Really? 291, yeah. I weighed so, myself yesterday. I'm probably about that. He's about are. 292. Yeah, well, I'm sure I'm, I'm fatter this morning. I mean, but yeah, yesterday What'd you have for breakfast? Myself, What'd you have for breakfast? I protein bar. You didn't poop yet? Oh, I pooped. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. You did? Oh my! This morning, this this morning's poop. After your cappuccino? <clears throat> no, I didn't have a cappuccino. I just oh. had an, a Monster Energy drink and some tea. This morning's poop was that poop that I've been that I've been chasing for a couple days. Remember, oh. I chased it yesterday after the show, and I chased it after. Then I chased it again in the, in the afternoon. I couldn't get nothing. I got Barbie boots each time, <clears throat> little milk dud willies, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> and then today. Oh, I really I released the hounds. Nice. Woo. Was it a pitcher pitcher worthy one? No, it was not. It was it was very uh oatmeal-y. <laughs> Ew. It wasn't, you know, <laughs> now about three or four days ago I had a real nice like eighteen inch eel. Like it looked like an it tapered the end of it tapered and it looked like an eel's tail. And I even turned him up, told the merch crick, man, I just pooped out an eel. <laughs> she didn't say anything. <laughs> and so anyway, uh, I I we have clowned it, and now I have to participate in it. As I was doing my telemed uh, deal yesterday, at 5 o'clock nonetheless. Oh, go back to my original deal. So I'm in bed. I'm literally in bed at like 4.30. <laughs> I'm not in bed to sleep. Well, I kind of am. Yeah. I, I kind of am. I'm in bed to sleep at 4.30. So my telemed was supposed to be at 5, and they were going to send me, uh, it, email me a link. Mm-hmm. to the Zoom link to have it with the doctor. And so the woman calls my phone and says, you know, what's your email and or verify my email. And uh, she said, you know, you should be you should be standing by uh, ready to go. Uh, so I figured I need to I, need, I shouldn't do it necessarily from my phone. I'd prefer to do it from my laptop and be sitting down like at a table. Right. Rather than to be in bed, you know. I, I pay. I mean, I got to think that the doc. You, you're somewhat be trying to be respectful to the doctor and pay attention, and because the doctor was going to go over my lab results and then you know additional medicine that I'm requesting and my colon concerns and you know. Sure. Remember Blitz? I was going to ask her if she had something a little bit, you know, a little bit something I could pile on yeah, as a kicker. Yeah. <clears throat> I got me a pile on. Oh, oh. good. Yeah. Good job. But I'm not going to talk about what it is. <clears throat> so anyway. Okay. Um, at five o'clock, her office calls and said she's running a little bit behind, but uh, nonetheless, we're gonna. You need to get ready because uh, she should be, you know, 
uh, ready to go here within the next 10 minutes. So they sent me the link. Well, first of all, they won't even send me the link. Like I, I don't even get the link link till till 5:20, and I'm sitting I'm sitting at my kitchen counter at like f- from five o'clock to 5:20, just continuing to now. Don't laugh at me. Refresh my AOL <laughs> <laughs> to see, you know, AOL. You're, wait, you're waiting to hear. You've got mail. Yeah, and I had and it's 5:20, and I'm I finally tell the merch quick. Can you call them up and ask them what the hell's going on? I need my pals. So finally, it says, you got mail. I'm like, oh, good. So I, I, I click on, well, it's 5, like 5.30 now. Oh, no. And, you know, I, I started my regiment like it. I start my regiment now like at 3.30, let me. Yeah. And I started getting a little fuzzy when the doctor was there. Uh-oh. And so anyway, I go, hey, doc, how about uh, a colonoscopy? How about you show me them drugs? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, she's 79. My, I, I asked my doctor yesterday how old she was. I said, we were talking about you on the air today, Dr. Hayes. Haynes, Dr. Haynes. And she said, you were? And I go, yeah. You're, I said that you're probably the hottest. You said that? Uh, how old? You're the hottest old bitch I've ever seen. <laughs> I did kind of say that. I go, how old are you? And she said, I'm 79. Blah, blah. And I go, well, I thought maybe you were 83. And she, didn't, and she was like, <laughs> 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 she didn't pop on she, you want this bitch mer- right? You mer- want mer- Merch cricks off camera, but she, she kind of kicks me to the thing. I go, oh, whatever. <clears throat> so I go, how oh, about. She, I don't understand. She looks 83. What's wrong with that? So I'm like, <laughs> so hey, Doc, what do you think about, um, I think I need a colonoscopy, you know? <laughs> she said. Well, before we go a colonoscopy, uh, well, let's do a colon colon guard, the thing where I got to poop in a box. You know the colon oh, guard? Yeah. She goes, let's start with that. Let's start with a colon guard first. Those are expensive. <clears throat> Cola guard. And she said, look at your insurance and see. So my insurance pays for it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm, 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 she prescribed me. A box. I think she prescribed me. I think you're. I, <laughs> I don't know if she prescribed it to me or I got to just get it. You're going to do it all wrong. You're just going to. Here's the deal. The box here's an Amazon it. box. Just take this. Here's Where do the, I send it? Merch Craig, send this out. Here's what I'm worried about, though. I'm going to have to game the the colon, the colon guard deal because I'm going to have to be like, listen, because Blitz, you know, some of my poops have yeah. blood in them. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't want to send them one with blood in it. Why Is not? A, uh, be, like, like this morning, this morning's poop was perfect. Deer like brown. Why are you trying to impress these people? You Hold want on. to find out what's wrong with you. Deer, deer like brown. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And it's because I, I I didn't force it. But I think when the colon guard is, you have to take the, the bag and put it in the turlet. Yeah. And then so what if, and I don't think there's any redos. I don't think they send you three bags. <clears throat> so once I mm. commit, once I commit to making that bowel movement, my cola guard one, I got to make sure that it's not a bloody one, because if not, I'll have to w- rinse out the bag and do do one. Because I don't want to send I want to send them a, a deer like brown one. Mm. I don't want to yeah. send them a a, a bl- one of my bloody ones. Yeah, your your reports say, uh, dear Mister Clem, you uh, you don't appear to have any problems. However, there seem to be a lot of tap water in with your. Uh, there seem to be uh, remnants of Dawn dishwashing soap. <laughs> yeah. Did you take your bag and clean it out <laughs> and, and did a redo? Did you do a redo? Did you do a redo? <laughs> I can just see me now. I poop in a box and I look down in there and it's it's got some blood in it. I'm like, man, I can't use this one. Are there <clears> any <throat> foods that you eat or that you know that like will make your poop better? Um, like more consistent and maybe if I eat a little more, maybe fibers? May, maybe a little more. Salad or something. It doesn't look like a bag anymore. It looks like a sample container from this. Video. Oh, well, they're not good because when I poop blood, not all of it's blood, so I can just go get a part of it that's you can not. Just scoop the non blood out? Yeah, I'll just take like a, like a, like a spoon <clears throat> and <laughs> spoon out the good, the good poop. So your healthcare provider has ordered Colaguard for you and you've received. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need the collection kit. No, I ain't got the kit yet. That may sound complicated, but we're going to make it easy. Colaguard has no special prep or changes to diet or medication. Yeah, except I'm not going to give you one of my bloody ones. <laughs> right. Right? We'll show you in a few simple steps. Yeah, I'm going to tell Dan, too, man. Dan, by the way, so I go to, I look at, remember you said Dr. Mosier or whatever the hell his name was? I wrote it down. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even take, he doesn't even take in, he doesn't take insurance. Oh. Ooh. He didn't, well, at least mine he didn't, and I got Blue Cross Blue Shield. Isn't that one of the most widely accepted insurances there is? Yeah. That's like uh, top top three. So I went to go, I'll, you know, before I talked to my doctor, I went 
to the guy that Dr. Nan suggested do a because I wanted to be able to when she said if I was going to get a colonoscopy, I was going to be able to tell her what doctor for her to write on the script. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the, and I was like, I'm not I'm not paying. I think I think they think they're like two grand, they're like two thousand dollars. I'm not paying that to get my poop mm-hmm. checked. I can just poop in a box. Yeah. Collect your sample and ship it to the lab where it'll be tested. You may receive a few phone calls from Exact Sciences Lab. Oh, great, I hear. Mr. Clem, we got your poop here in the, underneath the petri dish, and we're looking at it, and it seems like you know, got a little blood in our deal there. You have to get calls. Victorious to remind you to use Colaguard if you haven't already. Oh, the- maybe they're just calling me to remind. Trust me, the day I get it, I'm gonna poop in the box. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. The day I get it, I'm gonna constantly be. Trying to get a real, I'm going to start, I'm allowing me, like the day I get it, I'm going to go eat a couple salads mm. and, you know. There you go. Salads make you poop well? I don't know what makes me poop good. I just want it to look good when it comes, like, you know, salad looks good when it comes yeah, out. Yeah, stay away from the corn. Well, Before yeah. we start. Sometimes those salads still, it's like salad coming out. Yeah, right. Make sure you'll be able to shoot. I'm going to eat corn and salad. And <laughs> peanuts. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Clem, <laughs> we weren't able to analyze your cola guard because it was just basically corn, peanuts, and salad. <laughs> <laughs> so, if your sample, did the you same go to day- the buffet? <laughs> Don't do it. It's not nearly as accurate as a colonoscopy. Listen, my doctor probably wants to do both, but she's like, let's start with a colaguard. Yeah, and, and and if you're not really paying or paying much at all for it, might as well do it. Right, absolutely. Right. So, yeah, I know I'm headed to a colonoscopy, but isn't this like almost? You know, like this is, you know, I'm double, like I'm double insulating my, it's the yeah, my colon health. The pre-check. Day or the next day after collection to allow enough delivery time. The lab must receive your sample within four days for successful testing. Oh, trust me, I'll, I'll have it in the mail the minute I poop in it. I'll have the merch crick waiting to take it to yeah. the middle. It'll still be warm when, the, when yeah. you're handling Ew. it. It might still be warm. Yep. Are you ready? Yeah. It's go time. All right, so Blummy, it kind of tells you how you're doing here. Right? Yes. Yeah. Step one, check the expiration date on the box. If you're nice. good, then unpack it. First, pull out your... Pa- well, meaning like it took too long to get you or something? Possibly. Patient instruction guides and shipping instructions. Oh, I don't like reading instructions. Just show oh, them out. No. Then unzip the plastic bag. Hey, yeah, Blitz, this is the extent of me reading the directions, watching this video. <laughs> well, at least you're watching the video. Right. I have to take out the contents for... Let me, I'm going to have to watch this anyway, so if I watch it now, make it part of the show, and make a, a little bit of a you know funny content, then I'm already going to be up to speed on how to yeah. do it when I get my box. Then I, you have to redo it. I won't even... I can just literally go right... To the toilet and, and lay a couple bricks. Exactly. Collection. Yeah. Leave the bag attached to the box. You'll need it to safely ship your sample back. Are right, you open up the bag? As you unpack the box, take your time to check that you have your sample container. Two, bottle of preservative liquid, bracket, and sample label. Why would bracket? Keep it in the middle, middle of the box. Have everything laid out? On to step two. Now or, raise oh, the toilet, toilet lid and see. Yeah, that's your toilet bracket. I will break that bracket. <laughs> you don't sit, sit on, on it. Fold the bracket and place <laughs> oh, it. On. Sorry. It just holds a sample collection container. Yes. Oh, I was to say uh, that, that little flim flammy plastic can't hold my ass up. On the toilet rim, toward the back. See, hold on, see, Blitz. It does go across the rim. Yeah, but you put the seat down. Yeah. Lower Still, I'm going to be bending. That thing's going to be screaming. What? Eat onto the bracket. Can you see the opening? Oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> I thought literally you just oh sat on. That. I thought you just sat on that thing. No. No. Hey guys, I tried to color guard. And I fell in. I, fell I don't in understand. And that I little seat bracket. thing did not work. I, I fell and now in I believe more than ever. I, I, I fell in and I broke the bracket. <laughs> and the bracket. I, 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 I crushed it off. I crushed the container. The container perforated cut me. my colon. Now I'm really bleeding because the, <laughs> the bracket's in my colon. <laughs> Dear call guard, your bracket is... Please don't... Your bracket impaled my ass. Don't try to pick the plastic bracket out of my poop because it, it <laughs> it's, it's in there too. Yeah. All right, here we go. Unscrew the lid of the large container. Now, are you just supposed to send them a little bit? Because I could I could fill that. Like this morning, I could have filled that whole container up and had extra. <laughs> I think they want, Slip it, the container they want it full. The, they do? All the way to the top. Bracket. Perfect. As a rib, I should have all of us pooping up, and we all just mix it together. <laughs> oh, God. That's put Step Bella in there. Now it's time to put <laughs> Bella's dog turd in there. <laughs> and they're like, sir, you, you come back with a heavy canine uh, resemblance. To do your thing. All right, hold on. Sit on the... Let me see how this thing goes again. I was... So, th- you again, you're, you're not just picking it out of... The turlet with a no. That's what I thought. No, no, no. Right, no. Right it's coming them. right out of the tap. Yep. Well, yeah. They don't want to mix them with water. Perfect. 
Step three, now it's time to do your thing. Sit on the toilet and have a bowel movement into the container. Oh, I will. <laughs> Careful not to contaminate your sample. It's okay if a little bit of urine gets in the container. Yeah, because I always tuck my penis down, you know, on the... On, it looks I mean, like there's a little space there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm not going to be able to fit in that little space. Oh, you're that big? No, I'm not that big, but I'm that fat. <laughs> well, no, you're a wiener. In I the know, front. still my wiener, my balls and everything are going to be balls? like... I mean, like... Uh, look. That's a little space. You got to tuck your tat. You got to t- tuck your penis and your sack all in that little area. You only got to do it one time. Your sample should be whatever is typical for you in terms of consistency and size, but should be no larger than the bottle of liquid preservative that comes with your kit. When you're done, what do you mean? Stand oh, up, lift much. the container from the bracket, and place it on the counter. But that might just gonna be hot. It's gonna be steaming. <laughs> leave the sample container open. Because yeah, I'll leave it open. All right. There's still a few more steps before Mercury, you're ready come to look shift. at this. This one. This is, this is soft serve ice cream at its finest brown chocolate. Step four. Grab the small white tube. Yep, that's the one. Unscrew the cap and pull out the probe. Now scrape the surface of the sample until you... What? Yeah, it's like a little... It says, it says not actual stool. I know. I know. I know, I know. but actually it says that. I know, the... but they just don't want to get in trouble. That's like a brown piece of like, you know, yeah, a chocolate. burned up hot dog or something. Yeah. on the probe. Put the probe back into the tube. Is that all they're testing? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Well, then, do you send the whole... Screw the cap closed completely. Now, empty all of the preservative liquid from the bottle oh. into the container. Oh. Anything left in the bottle? What if it goes overflows? <laughs> oh, God. What if I'm saying if I poured a bottle into the container and, and I've filled the whole entire container well, it up... it says and... don't use any more than the that size. Step five. Next. Meaning my poop should only be the size of that container? The little one, yeah. The one he's got in his left hand? Yes. <laughs> That's stage one of my usually four-point, four-part bowel movement willies. Place the lid on the container. Screw it on straight and tight. Then trash or recycle the empty preservative liquid bottle in the toilet bracket. Congrats. See how easy that was? I kind of want a few of those kits. Step that, six. That would be handy. Finally, before you pack your box, you need to label your samples. For, oh, you want one of those for for the for, for hunting camp. Yeah. First check your shipping label and take note of how your name and address are written. Then using a ballpoint pen, clearly print your name, date of birth, and date and time of collection on the blank sample labels. Label your sample container like this. Then Kirk, carefully you pack out. your box back up and ship it the same day or the next day after collection. Here's how to make that happen. Peel back uh, the- Jay Pitts, 100, cash app. Thank you. Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, at the Bubba Army. Thank you, guys. This label, and voila, you'll find a prepaid and pre-addressed return label. Now, you can either drop off your sample at a UPS location, or call UPS, or exact science. Hello, UPS. Yeah, I got my big box of turd. Come get my poop box. Come get my poop box. This is Laboratory's customer care center to schedule a contact-free pickup. Plan to collect your sample. Why don't you just take it down to the UPS store and drop it off? You can get it back to UPS that same day or the next day. The lab must receive your sample as soon as possible to be tested successfully. So make sure a Sunday or a holiday will not delay your shipment. After you drop... Yeah, like maybe you want to ship it on a Monday, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Off or have your kit picked up, it will be shipped directly to our lab. You should hear from your healthcare provider in about two weeks with your result. It's that easy. I want to be scared. Be scared. I mean, you know, because your doctor has to call you then and be like, hey, we got the. I wonder if they send you a copy of your results or they just send it to your health care provider. Probably your doctor. Not even you? Uh, Maybe if you ask for it. I want to see my, I mean, I want to, yeah, I want to. Now, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what I got coming. All right. Pooping in a box. So, Anna, you went to the uh, Sun and Fun? Are you mm-hmm. Now, I, I'm assuming Blitz is probably going to go back every day this week. I don't know about every day, but he's certainly going back. Right. A few times, yeah. yeah. And what about you? What? Did you do your time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, Anna, you did your you did your girlfriend, you know, amount of amount of needed girlfriend, you know, fellowship time. Mm-hmm. Got that burned off on a Wednesday. So now it's your. And your, it was honestly the perfect day to go because it was warm, not, but it wasn't too hot. There was some clouds. So that was really nice. And when you're just sitting in the heat, sometimes it gets to you. Well, so. And I got to think, I don't know, Blitz might be able to help. But like, you know, the Wednesday crowd's not going to be near what the Saturday crowd's yeah, going to be. Yeah, that's what he said. Nowhere near as much. Right. The, the show wasn't as good either, but it's whatever. A, it, they're probably just getting ready for the big show on yeah, Sunday. Yeah. On Saturday mm-hmm. or Sunday. 
Saturday, right? Saturday or Sunday. So <clears throat> is that why you're yeah, so both. is that is that why you're so worn out today, Anna? A little bit. Am just... I worn out? I feel I slept pretty well. You did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Allow me anything on your front, my friend. Before... Yeah, raised baseball game today, opening day. Oh, a uh, grouper lips twenty dollars on the uh, on the on, on the, the rant. on the rant via Rumble. <laughs> Uh, if you're listening to us and you'd like to watch us, uh, Rumble is where we suggest. Also, Facebook and YouTube, uh, all at The Bubba Army. Later today, the after show will... By the way, the podcast uh, yesterday did super... It's doing super well. I forget what we talked about, but I feel as if it was uh, pretty funny. I think I think both podcasts this week were pretty ex- All the after shows have been. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, but today's after show is The Killer Bees... And it's me, Brent Hatley, and the baby face. When did, when did the name change? All of a sudden, it was just different. Um, I, I, I suggested it. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. You're wrong. Ago? I'm left. I'm right. No you're one left. Was, we're wrong. No one like, was well, right. Everyone was left. Well, no, it's just like we're we wrong. would sometimes get into sports and we sometimes get into other stuff. I see. I and see. And I just didn't want to stay necessarily in that political lane. I just kind of wanted... And we, we have a different dynamic, all three of us together, and mm-hmm. most of it's political. But, uh, you know, sometimes we talk about sports because we're all three into sports. So um, it, I just decided to, and the killer bees is about as stupid and cornball as you could get. So I wanted to, that's why I wanted to do it too, to okay. kind of almost make fun of us. I got you. So it's what, opening day at the Trop? Yes, it is. Somebody said it was so, well, tarped off, sold out. Well, yeah, they don't open up the second deck anymore, really, so. Ever? No. But uh, but they, I mean, it's uh, affordable tickets now. They really have uh, lowered the prices, so it's a nice ten dollars around the outfield. So and it's Brian, affordable Brian for, for an actual is, for, yeah. for an actual seat. Yeah, and then they're selling standing room only tickets for like two hundred and fifty bucks for the whole season. Now hold on. So Brian is going to the show. What times? What times? Opening pitch three three ten. All right, he'll make it then. Yeah, uh, he, uh, yeah, three ten. Yeah, he said he uh, he was talking to you about maybe trying to end it a little early. So. Yeah, we maybe we'll just go like an hour. Yeah. He, hell, he's getting know. on a boat. And and floating over there. Yeah, he's taking the ferry, I believe. No, no, his friend is uh, picking oh, him up okay. at Hula Bay oh. and uh, driving him over to uh, one of his docks or something over in St. Pete, and then they're going to take the trolley. Really? To the game, yeah. Brian's always a good time. I, I, I saw him out there last year, and uh, we hung out and then went to a couple bars. He's after. far cooler off the air than he is on the air. And he's, he's drunk? He's, yeah, he's far cooler after a couple uh, White Claws. Right. Oh, yeah, I hear. I hear you like see a Bud Light Seltzers. Is that his yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a little. He, Those are horrible. I, I'm, I, I'm kind of a bitch drinker. Like I don't drink, but when I do drink, like it's you know, peanut. You know, it's like Sex fuzzy on the Beach, able. fuzzy. Like I'm a little bit. Like I'm not a Jack and Coke guy or nothing. I'm a pussy. I mean, you know. That's all right. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't even really like beer that much. Me neither. It's too sticky. Yeah, beer. But <laughs> Let I mean, me in vodka. You're a vodka drinker, right? Yeah, I don't like beer that and much. And that's anymore. kind of vodka is kind of a bitch drink too. Correct. You know. Oh yeah. But so spirit. you know whatever. Now you're drinking it right out of the bottle. It's not <laughs> true. Yeah. true. <laughs> the Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Yeah. What's up? Thank you, Grouper Lips. Thank you for the Grouper twenty hour Sorry, Grouper Lips. All thing, group of lips. It's shit in the box. My fucking rumble froze. I chat. You froze his chat? I was wondering why we didn't have any chat going shit on. Shit, is that? What's up, Redbeard? Uh, huh. you. Good morning, Maria Guatemala. Good morning, T. Greg. Little Wilbur's afterbirth. Good morning. Part, pat, fart. Fart. Pat, fart, 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 and Dale. Pat, fart, and Dale. Good morning. Yeah, he is. He got in, I think, last year or the year before. Oh, no. Where is this? Good 
I'm not gonna call you the police. I'm gonna call you the police. Oh, actually, never mind. Hold the phone. Yeah, exactly, Toddy. I was like poking him. Poke, poke, poke. Poke, poke. Huh. I must be very sick. Let's get this up. Let's get started here. Ooh. What's up, man? Not Brazier? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to go to one of those games. In the old morning, these old masters. Like, like the Chicago, St. Louis. Joby Day is down there. No, Polsky, he wore his uh, polo. This is his uh, work polo. Hey, welcome back, Hierarchy. Hall oh, of Famer, Hierarchy 65. <laughs> One hundred dollars on the rants. Who? Hi. <laughs> Hall of Famer Hierarchy sixty five. He's back from vacation. Damn! Thank you, Hierarchy. Thank welcome, you so much. Welcome to Rumble Hierarchy. Yes, let's go. Thank you, Hierarchy. What's up, Bright Farm? I know a trick is to bees. Your birthday's next good month. Very fun, guys. Island, good morning. Boop, boop. Eat more coleslaw. You didn't obviously listen to the podcast. Big lunger, good morning. Of Steve Roar. Harley Race, you mean? TJ Roy. What's up, Gary Cantrell? Good morning. Oh, dear. Organic Gene, good morning. Good morning, Dark Match Steve. What's up, Tease? Mm-hmm. Morning, Unity Seventeen. What's up? SOS Rick. Jim H. Good morning. Yeah, exactly. Gary can't draw. I thought it would be at least under 100. Matthew, wants to see game and wants to run through it. Maybe I should do another race. Maybe not. Mommy, will you send uh, uh, will you send me Dion Dion Sanders' Instagram? It's called Coach Prime. Sure. Because I can't. I, I, they won't let me go to Instagram unless I signed in. For some reason, I didn't sign in. But I'm gonna. <clears throat> This is what I got. The Dion Sanders one? Yeah, this is probably. Yeah. It may make you sign yeah, in. Yeah, that's again. it. It might make me sign in. See, I'm trying. I'm trying to enlarge that picture. Well, it just the. I mean, the link is the same. You're. Wow. Yeah. Live from the Sun Belt Rental Studios. It's the Bubba the Love Spot Show.
reached out to Dion yesterday. Nice. And he texted me back, and he told me, Sponge, in, me- in a meeting right now, organizing my camps. That's exactly what I got back from him. Sponge, in a meeting right now, organizing my camps. Hit me up this weekend. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text Dion, you know, maybe Saturday, probably Sunday. I had to be Sunday later because later, he goes to church. Very spiritual. And ask him about, you know, appearing on the show. I sent you the camps. Uh, oh, can you, it, as soon as I went to go on it, it, it disappeared. You're going to have to resend it to me. Damn it. So anyway, let me, I, I got to looking at when I got to looking at what Dion potentially might have been talking about when he said sponge going, you know, working on my camps. And this was on his Instagram. I mean, first of all, Dion, I don't know how many followers or what his social media 3. deal 2 is. 3.2 million on Insta. Yeah, 3.2 million on Insta. Uh, like maybe, I don't know how many, two, three, th- two or 300,000 on Facebook. Um, I don't know how many on Twitter. Uh, I don't know how many on, uh, like it's just, it's it's just, he's he's probably, he probably has the largest social media presence. And and, uh, and Rhett, you might be able to help me out here, uh, of, of any college football coach. Yeah, with regards to his reach uh, socially, and that's where everything you know that as far as the re- recruits and the people that Dion needs to interact with, that's where they all are. He's got one point five on Twitter. Yeah, Nick Saban, who's you know the winningest coach in college history, he could probably get on social media tomorrow, and he wouldn't have near the impact that Dion has. It'd be inter- interesting. This, yeah, you're right. <clears throat> so I, I got to looking at this, uh, Lummy, like Dion's camps, and it, and it said. Uh, what I read on Facebook or something that said, you know, I'm, I ain't hard to find. Uh, here are my camps, and I'm I'm sh- it let kind of led it to kind of kind of insinuated that they're gonna be, you would have a good chance of being discovered here, and with with a potential scholarship, you know, from this camp. Yes, yeah, I believe there will be a multitude of young men. Uh, that attend our camps and earn scholarships, and I believe others may obtain offers, and the rest will get better, I believe. Right. Do you? Yeah, so it's, he's basically kind of throwing it out there that, you know, if you, ha- if, if you were trying to maybe get a scholarship, because I really do feel that, that, that Dion has made, and again, Rhett, you're, you're, you're full up uh, and ready, and, and I got your slate up. I really do think that Dion has turned college football on its ear and now made it super cool to go to Colorado. Like these, you know, these these guys that might be going to Florida, Florida State, Georgia, Clemson, Alabama, Auburn, in, in, in Tennessee, USC, uh, Ohio State, Michigan, you know, any any really sexy program nonetheless. You know, I think I didn't those were pretty much all the real sexy Miami you know the real sexy ones, the destination I, schools. Yes, well, the positive- the power five destination schools, and I really think Dion now has made it a kind of a cool, clicky and- thing to go. Colorado is now a super cool place to go, and that's exactly what any team who was going to bring him in wanted. You know, any right. school like even USF. If USF would have made that hire, could you imagine the you know the media oh. cycle on USF every day getting talked same- about on ESPN every single day, just like he's doing for Colorado. I mean, Colorado had, had a, hasn't had a program since the 90s. Uh, they, they were co-national champions in the 90s, but they've been horrible. Now, they've, they've gone. They've, they've, they, they, they were, weren't they? No, I th- I'm pretty sure they were. It's just goofy. No, I think, I mean, am I, am no, I wrong correct. in no, saying? You're, no, you're right. No, oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. It's just a funny concept. Right, true. No, but the thing what Dion did with these camps is that a lot of, a lot of coaches, uh, they don't have open camps like this either. And since it's you know it's on social media, it's going to get a lot of people's and eyes there. It it does help, like maybe someone that went to a smaller school that wasn't recruited as much. Right, go to these camps and maybe. And hold on, seeing. hold on. Let's not forget the one thing. It's fifty dollars per kid, which is nothing. It's fifty dollars per kid. It's a not, and it's not an overnight camp because I'm when I went to football camp at IU, it was like you know you get you spent two nights there, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit yeah. logistically a problem. And you're now in today's world, you know, leaving your kid in a dorm room could potentially be a huge liability. So this is, sh- I mean, camp starts like at eight and it's done at four, and we feed you lunch. It's a one day camp. I mean, you know, so yeah, you're most real- of them are all they're uh, ten ten to five. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like it's a one day deal. 
And I think I read in there where lunch would be t- would be provided by by the you know that ain't no big deal. Yeah, or the cafeteria, yeah. I'm gonna get it, get, or even have bag lunches ready to go, right? Yeah, before it was like three four days, and you had to go to the dorms. And <laughs> right, stay there but think and... of the but think of the liability. Yeah. You, you've opened yourself up to and the amount of infrastructure that it takes to, you know, make sure these kids aren't, you know, screwing around at night. And, you know, you get that many kids t- together. This is a one. So he really has eliminated a lot of the headaches of going to a camp. And that's the overnight portion. These are all one day camps. Dion has thrown out there that this is where he's, you know, he, potentially you could get discovered here. And he even has a camp for people that are have been out of high school and might be in two or four year programs. Like so, you know, like let me like some guy that's at a junior college or some guy that's, you know, at, you know, Alcorn State or something like that. It's open for those guys too. So you know he's mm-hmm. gonna pick some people out of there and make fifty dollars a kid. Yep. Then he's got an elite camp. Uh I think that's for all high schoolers, right? Uh yeah. Then, he, then he's got a seven-on-seven seven camp, then an offensive and defensive line camp, uh, and then uh, and that. So, I'm thinking that deep, probably every dollar of that goes to Dion. That's probably his part part of his deal. Isn't that part of usually the head coach's deal where they get their camp money? Oh yeah, most deals, even like for smaller schools, yeah, the camps. The camps are, are away for the coach. Correct. So this is like a tr- this is like a triple edged sword almost. In the fact yeah. that you're going to make, I mean, let's say he does. What would you? I mean, there's seven camps. Okay, how many? How many kids you think he could? I mean, you think he could do a thousand kids a camp? That's what I was guessing. I was going to say a thousand. All right, say, so that's seven thousand times that's fifty. Right. That's three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for you know seven days work. But I'm sure that he, you know, Dion, as big of a deal as he got. A couple of those were on the same day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because your defensive and offensive line, you can have that on your same day. Yeah, you have that on a different field, seven on seven, wide receivers, running backs. And if I know know Dion, he he tells his assistant coaches, I got my money. I got my $5 million. Uh, All my camp money I'm going to split off to you guys. Right? And so, I mean, let's say he has, you know, let's say he has 10 assistant coaches. Each guy gets like a twenty five, thirty five thousand dollars check. That makes a huge difference to those guys. And I'm sure, he's, right? He's, yeah, and I'm sure he's going to be bringing in other coaches, like uh, from other programs, like assistants, right? Which that helps them out, and you know, it just I'm just saying, man, it's it just feeds itself. One, it's a huge money maker. Two, it's 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 a great recruiting tool. And three, I mean, you can just think of the content they're going to get too, right? Yeah. So anyway, and I the gems he could find. Oh. Yeah. If you cancel a week out, you're available to get a refund. However, there is a fifty dollars cancellation fee. <laughs> <laughs> you can you cannot come to the camp, but I'm still gonna give him money. It's fifty dollars a head. You know, and you know what? I don't even know that Dion. I, I read the brochure. I don't know that Dion. I mean, I bet you Dion will just kind of walk around a little bit, right? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm looking at the webpage. I mean, it doesn't say he will be there at all, but I'm, you know. He'll probably show up, or, you know, like like you said, like kind of being his golf cart. And his, yeah. if his assistant's like, yeah, listen, you got to come see this come, kid. Hey, or come talk hey, to this exactly. guy. Exactly. That's, that's the assistant will be like, hey, man, I got this wide receiver guy. This guy runs a 4 2 1 right now, and he is catching everything we throw at him, and he's not committed. He's in uh, 11th grade, and he's from, like, you know, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Dion, so listen, let me ask you a little question, Tyrone. What's going on, man? You know, do you want to go down to Alabama and uh, maybe start when you're a junior? Or you want to come up to Colorado Buffalo and, and be coached by a guy that's got a gold jacket and already, you know what? Nick Saban ain't, ain't never played a lick. Did, did Nick Saban ever play in professional? Uh, Not professional, no, college. Yeah. You want to get, so, I mean, you know, that, that's a huge selling tool. Oh yeah, and it gets the kids into where Colorado, so they can see the facilities and oh, everything yeah. like that too. So it's a benefit. How many years, Rhett, do you think it takes for for Dion to be, you know, or first of all, do you think that Dion is ever going? Will Dion? I I think he will. My answer is yes. Will Dion make Colorado a uh, a, a a destination school as far as you know a top ten program? I think it'll take him two or three years, but eventually, yeah. Like a top 10 program. Yeah. And do you think that Dion could ever potentially win the national championship? Yeah, they're uh, they're expanding the playoff field. Is it not next year, but the year after? The year after, They're yeah. going up to 12 teams? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and once that happens, I mean, you're going to see Colorado, if he's still there, you know, when they're still doing well, they're going to be a top 10 team every year, I think. You're saying if he's still there, meaning he could get plucked again? Uh, either he gets plucked or takes another job. I, I don't know why you'd want to leave there, man. 
Your God, I mean, it'd be like Nick Saban. Would he ever leave Alabama? No, no way. Never. Well, I mean, if Dion made Colorado the new Alabama, why would you leave? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful there. I say best case scenario, they're a top ten school within three years. But like that's in my opinion, that's the best case scenario. Do you ever, Dion's good, man, but it, it takes a lot to build up a team, and I it, like takes two, though, it takes eight years. It takes two. It, it takes two of your graduating class. It takes two re, re, full blown four year re, um, recruiting cycles. Yeah, and Colorado's got a lot of talent. Obviously, they got Shador at quarterback, but uh, I think I, I think I when can't they think of any other guys off the top of my head right now. No, I, I know. I think when they expand the playoffs, that. I think uh, I think that's when Colorado will. I think they'll get in the first year. They may not go far, but I think that will obviously really F- fuel. Blow up. Yes, fuel. I, I agree. Do you see Dion ever getting back into TV or anything? No, I mean, because that's I could see him. You know, leaving that job eventually to do a Tom to, Brady kind of deal, or yeah, or yeah. Like a, yeah, some kind of TV deal or something. Maybe, well, like Nick maybe. Saban. Well, Nick Saban. Like when if he's not in it, like the ESPN or ABC, whatever, the same thing. They bring him on. Dion loves him. the camera, but this is the, Dion. But you know, it just makes that value even more. You know, he has to put his time in and be successful here. I mean, well, he, well, he, well, he actually left the NFL Network as a commentator to go coach. He didn't like being on TV exclusively in the capacity that they now. If if they brought him in to be the you know the color the, the, the color analysis, you know the mm-hmm. you know the Troy Aikman the next well, next year will be. Tom Brady. Right now, there's a shortage of good ones of those, right? They got Greg Olson. Isn't Greg Olson one of them? Yeah, Greg Olson's the main guy for Fox. Yeah, come on. I'd rather have Dion in there all day. Well, Greg like, Olson sucks. Tom He's, Brady's making his, taking his uh, seven. I know. Million. So, like, let's say Dion does, you know, I don't know, five, eight, nine years at Colorado, and he's up to eight or nine million. Well, all of a sudden, Fox says, hey, Dion, we got, you know, 10, 12 million for you to be the, you know, the color guy uh, on play by play. You think he'd want to be a color guy compared to like sitting behind the table, like doing the pregame? I don't know, man. I almost think that he loves coaching more than. I think Dion can be on camera as much as he wants, as strong as his social media presence is. That I, I, th- I think you're right. I think he likes. I think he likes turning young men, young boys into men. Yeah, I think he likes the grind of being a coach. And he'll you, do that for probably ten years. I, I don't know. I got to figure that out. And you said he doesn't really like to travel that much, right? No, he didn't like to travel. He yeah. Hates. So I mean, if you're doing a color analyst, uh, you, you're traveling every week. Oh yeah. He he hated that. He hated that. Um. So Hillsborough, their, their season starts September second. Looks like Hillsborough County. Now this is this this is this is in our own backyard, but this is exactly how this sort of thing should go. And there's a book in the Hillsborough County Library System. That's called This Book is Gay. And it's in middle school libraries. Yeah, school libraries. Yeah, school libraries. Yeah, not, yes. not Hillsborough County libraries. School libraries. Yeah, yeah. Hillsborough County middle school. Yes. School corporation uh, libraries. And uh, they it's, it's a book that uh, is, again, available to check out at middle school libraries in Hillsborough County. Well, some parents got mad about it. And brought it up to the board, and the board voted on it, and they voted it out. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. And and maybe yeah. that book, this book is gay, maybe that book works in your community. But I think that this is, I mean, this, this is everybody's making this a big controversial thing and everything, and I, and I don't necessarily know if I'd want that book uh, in in a school that my kid went to, but nonetheless, I don't have a I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't have a kid in school, and I think Hillsborough County handled this thing gracefully by, hey, let's see what let's take this to vote, right? Let's not care about what necessarily anybody thinks. Let's talk to the parents that have kids in our school system, and we'll vote on it. And I and I and and I think that. They did the right decision. School board has voted to remove a controversial book from all middle school libraries in the district. It was a packed house at today's special school board meeting as members voted to ban the book called This Book is Gay. Melissa Marino joins us live at the Hillsborough County School Board office. Look at Melissa. Holy, hold on. What is going on here? Uh, Daddy like? No, Stacey, not necessarily. I mean, kind of. Well, three hours. It's hard. Not really. No. Folks, very passionate no. on much. both sides of the issue. In the end, as Too you know, they voted to ban fake. this book. Some, though, worry this sets a bad precedent. She got braces. It's called This hmm. Book is Gay. It explores a number of topics, including stereotypes and coming out. 
Some parts go into detail about sexual experiences. Critics say it's too graphic and not appropriate for middle school kids. I never saw a book like this in the library when I was in school. And well, I, 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 hold on, Grandma. 1923. Grandma, you were in school when Henry Ford was making Model A's. Right. I mean, come on, right. Grandma. <laughs> I mean, the automobile just got invented, babe. Oh, If we're using that, uh, what kind of computers were in school? When yeah. You, you mean, come on. Exactly. You know, but of course, Channel 8's got to come out with the most outlandish grandma mad at this kind of deal. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, listen, this book might be might be better suited for older <laughs> kids that have that understand the topic in itself better. I I, I don't think you st necessarily stick your 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 head in the sand and be uh, you know afraid of this topic later in life. But not necessarily when you're in, you know, seventh and eighth grade. Right. And I guess there's a section of the book that uh, uh, it's called the cheat sheet. And it gives you it's kind of like a vocabulary. And uh, I guess it talks about uh, scat play. Now, huh. see, that's not even cool for high school kids to know what scat play is. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't need high school kids scatting. Is this the book that includes... Lisa, uh, what's wrong? You've got brown stuff on your face. <laughs> Well, me and my boyfriend read this book from the library. My girlfriend. My girl, me and my girlfriend read this book in the library about scatting, and I, me and my boyfriend tried it. I must not got it all off. Is, I, I think this is the book with like how to download hookup apps too, correct? Oh, that, see. Mm. Uh, maybe. It came out in 2014 and has not been updated since then. Here we go. So. That this is grooming children for things that is just horrible. And I think it's unconscionable that you as a board would condone this book and allow it to be in our libraries when it has step-by-step -step instructions for um, downloading and using a sex hookup app. More than 60 hmm. people signed up to speak at today's... See, I, I can't see how even the most liberal of people could think that this would be acceptable for your child to be able to check that book out and then learn how to download, you know, sexual hookup apps... That is, you know what this is? This is, again, lack of or the inability to parent. It's like planted by pedophiles, it seems. <clears throat> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like like how, I mean, how uh, I as, as, oh, as liberal and free-spirited as you may or may, even if you lived in San Francisco, I don't understand how you could think this would be appropriate for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, at the Now, I don't even think necessarily it should be in high schools now that I know that it you know, goes into scat play and things like that, but certainly not seventh and eighth grade. Like, you'd mm -hmm. have to be out of your mind. Special board meeting with strong opinions on both sides. Advocates and the book's author say... I, I want to hear what the, the other... Author. I want to hear what the other side says. Me too. Yeah, let's hear that. It was written to help young people who are beginning to explore their sexuality. The people who know that particular population more than anyone else voted unanimously you. to keep Thank this you. book. Next I may not agree with the content, but others might, and how is it my decision to choose what is to be read and what is not? The controversy started last year when a parent filed a complaint about the book being available at Pierce Middle School. The book has since gone through two reviews and two appeals, leaving the final decision to school board members who voted today to remove it from all Hillsborough County middle schools. For us to have a book that is so sexually explicit in the hands of children, of minors, that is what is upsetting. And again, hold on. Regardless of what side of the fence you're on, this is the right way to do this. And sure. now, and, and if you don't like the outcome, then the person that's running for, maybe next time you won't just check willy-nilly on who's running for school board. Because you and, like their name or and, something. And you'll do your research into what that person you know, a political affiliation and mindset is and potentially how they would have voted on this particular issue and you vote in that candidate. So you can control your own destiny. This is done the right through who you put as, you know, your school board representative. Most of us don't pay attention. Like, oh, yeah, I like that name. You know, Jim uh, Fred Fredericks. I saw a couple of his signs. Sounds pretty good to me, Jim Fredericks, mm -hmm. for a school board. Nobody researches that stuff, but maybe we should, especially when their decisions are going to do uh, affect things that could uh, to potentially uh, affect your child. To me and concerning to me. 
and we did look to see how many middle schools had copies of this. Anna, help me size this chick up, man. I know. There's a she lot was going probably on here. hotter like five lip injections ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she had like just uh, normal I think, lips. I think I was looking for that and I couldn't find it. You're yeah. right. She was hotter five lips injections ago. Yeah. Yes, I exactly she had just agree. more of a natural look. Book, we only found that Pierce Middle School was the only one that had copies. One of the copies was checked out months ago. It's still checked out. The other one, they can't find that copy. Uh, to you. Okay, Melissa, I know they voted on this just for middle schools in the school district. I'd like to see Melissa's donkey, wouldn't you? I just yeah, see what I she's would. working like with back donkey. there. Yes, I would. She got an, an, let me, she got an Insta? Uh, I'm trying to find it. She has a Twitter. So several yeah. of the board it to members, me they said they didn't there's necessarily There's nothing, nothing on it. Oh, okay, then don't the send it to me. The <laughs> no ring either. No guy wants those lip injections. An issue, perhaps for oh, that's not true. Students. So at this time, it does not appear that there's going to be any talks about high school students, but certainly we'll keep everyone updated Hold if on. that does come I, I, I completely got obsessed with something else. So several of the board members, they said they didn't necessarily see an issue with the content of the book. They just thought it wasn't appropriate for middle schoolers they didn't think it was an issue perhaps for high school students so at this time it does not appear that there's going to be any talks about high school students but certainly we'll keep everyone updated if that does come yeah, up let's keep all me right Melissa well, Marino live for us in once you keep me updated with some bikini shots it's um, in, it's, in a whopping, it's in a whopping two high schools in this and this listen and to think that these the, the high school kids don't know I mean they're they're far more advanced than you even uh, they think got they, cell phones they know everything right exactly they're far more advanced than even you most, you know, due diligence of parents out there. They're far more advanced. They got apps that can hide whatever you think you're looking for. And they're pretty they're pretty tech savvy. So I think in high school, this book would be far less shocking, although I don't necessarily know that I'd like it in high school. But I, I can understand where it it would bode better with somebody like. Would you be okay 15, with it? 15, 16, then like 11 or 12. Would you be okay with it being at a public library? Yeah. And, I, a, and a middle schooler checking it out? No. I would be okay with if it was in a public library behind. I mean, I'm sure, dude, I'm going to have to ask you a question on this. Does the public library have sections where kids. No, I don't believe so. Okay. Well, then I. I, I, do, I, I hate. The banning of books. I not banning it. No, I'm not. Maybe you need parental consent if yeah. you're under a certain age. That's what I'm saying, like, if there's a section of the library where you have to be a certain age to go <laughs> because it's you know whatever, or at least have a parent sign off on it. Right. Maybe maybe there should be a list of books where if a kid, as a librarian, a person that works at the library, when a person brings up one of these controversial books. Mm -hmm. They have to be at least, you know, it's a library thing. And you to have check to, it out? Yeah, and you have to have your can parent. They, can they read it in the library? I don't know. You're trying to trip me up on well, some I'm stuff. Well, I'm, I'm just wondering. For. I'm just, because you can go get a book on the shelf. It doesn't sure. mean you need to check yeah. it out. And again, just go back to yeah, parenting. Yeah, I was just going to say, watch your kids. Absolutely. Watch your kids. Watch your kids. No, that you know, you just dump, dump your kid off at the library. Does anybody even go to the library anymore? Hell no. That's what I'm saying. Like, do libraries it's only grandmas even exist? anyways. I mean, like, I, I I don't really know of any kids that are going you know, to the it's library. It's funny. <clears throat> I walk by the Hillsboro one all the time, and I keep saying, oh, the one in downtown. I was like, I need just, I just want to go in there, and I, I have not yet. Right. And you're <laughs> a guy that likes to, you know, know stuff and learn stuff and, yeah. and research stuff. And if you don't go to the library, you think Johnny, little six, you know, si sixth grade Johnny wants, hell no, he's got everything in his right. phone. So, so I, 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 I don't want to start the banning of books because that's a slippery slope with regards to First Amendment issues and things like that. But you know, I don't think that it needs to be part of a middle school of, of, available to middle schoolers. Agreed. And I think that the school board got it right here. And the if this, it's not a state level deal. Each community, you know, maybe maybe this works in Broward County. I don't know. <clears throat> it, 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 I don't think it works here. And, uh, you know, I, when, when you got kids that are learning how to step-by-step -step download hookup apps, uh, again, I guess we could sit here and y y holler about it all day, but if it, it, it's, it comes down to, to parenting. Know what your kid's doing. Is it, oh, is this Melissa Mar yeah, that's Mar her Facebook. Marino? Yeah. It's got, like, a couple better. photos yeah. later on. She's pretty. Like, full she just overdid shots. it because she's afraid because she's getting older. Oh, is that how it goes? Yeah, you could tell she's probably like 37. 
so she's getting real into the the Botox lip injection sort of thing. Right. She's trying to maintain her hotness. <laughs> you already got this all broke down, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, she's here's and, the thing. Anna, she's you know always what? been. I'm telling you right now, she's always been hot. You could just kind of tell. Right. And so she's slipping a little bit because she's getting older and she's starting to panic. She's seen a few too uh, many gray hairs, maybe a few wrinkles. You know, maybe her lips look a little shriveled. And she's like, I I'm still the hot girl, and I will be the hot go- girl forever. But here's the deal. And I don't think she's married. Because she she's, is married. Oh, she is? Well, at one point she was to uh, uh, Brandon, I think was his name. Mm. But you're right, Anna. She's at 37, Like, she's still very old. attractive, but she's having a hard time competing with the 25-year-olds now. And I believe she is 36, so you pretty much nailed that one. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I know this person. I oh. mean, this archetype of person. Yeah, yeah. Right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. And so as as you see a few more fine lines and a few... Uh, She's like, God Volume of your lip going down and yeah. you see, you know, hot uh, co-ed 23-year-old intern over there on Channel uh-huh. 8 that's getting weekends. And especially if she's now a divorcee and trying to get back into the dating market. Oh, she's yeah. really panicked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. You got her fucking completely mm-hmm. nailed. Brains. Jean, good morning. I should look that way. TJ. Scuba Steve, good morning. Night Rider 12, good morning. Good morning, Country Girl 92. Five Express, Big Garbs, what I want. Bird A's. Sauce. Oh, thank you, Scooby Steve. A trade nug. Fucking Hawkins. Thank you, Gooch. Mm-hmm. Let me like you. I got my Eldora shirt on. You like that? I love it. You don't even know what fucking Eldora is. Of course. It's the race Tractonians. Your shoulders are popping in it, too.
morning amp KDD sub Xerxes Snizzle click yes Chad's putting your shirt over Snizzle. he should put my motherfucking shirt over Snizzle loves your shirt LM clothes good morning Xerxes thank, thank you once you our father Abraham died from the Bible reading. What's up, Crete and Travis? He's fucking bullshit. Close just uh, probably refresh. Is that what it is? March Stamper, just less banking. Hi, Matthew Hoxie. Yeah, I've done that. George Zimmerman. Thank you, Hierarchy 65. Yeah, I'll just restart it, refresh it. I should fix it. I'm reading both mug. Hey, Sammy. No, no. Do you want to go to the next party? Dark Match Steve, good morning to him four Mesh times Steve. this morning. Creatine. Totally I mean, we're running low on fucking parodies. The parody guy's on the Billy. The parody guy's going fucking dry. No, I know Dark Match and John from Naples are working on one. Show me, Brent Hadley, and Brian the Babyface. We're gonna call it. Let's call it a 10:20 start time. The Killer Bees, visually only available on Rumble. If you're not heard of Rumble, man, it's actually quite refreshing. It's our. It's where we went when Twitch banned us, yet for the another two week suspension after a one week. Well, we got banned two weeks, then we had a week, and then we got banned another two weeks, and that's supposed to be lifted today, sometime in the afternoon. Let's today or tomorrow? Oh, that's what I'm so sorry. You're right. It's I keep thinking today's Friday. I wish. Me too. <laughs> this week is drug ass, has it not? This week sucks. Don't say that. I think the shows have been pretty good this week. I think. I, I don't know. I yeah. can't remember anything. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, so anyway, uh, today's after show will be visually only on Rumble, and Rumble is just so cool because we can talk just a little less filtered than we have to on Twitch. Hmm. Yeah, just not, uh, just a little less because they don't take things so effing serious. They're just they're they're less woke. <clears throat> God, Twitch, man. I mean, we're going to still do business with Twitch, and, and I, I'm so thankful for Twitch, and we're not talking bad about Twitch. 
but <clears throat> if I can say this constructively, that uh, Twitch, you're going to, and, and I think, Blitz, you, you keep really up on this world, but a lot of major, major content contributors to Twitch have are leaving or finding other places because they are just absolutely insane with suspending and banning, and they're just going, like, they are going crazy. Amaru said the other day that she's thinking about going over to kick. Maybe not full-time, but she said at least going over there. To, to, to stick her toe, to stick her yep. hot toe in the water. There's, there's people just leaving Twitch like crazy. So, And not only are people leaving them, but they are... For, Blo- they well, they're, are- they're forcing people out right yeah there's this kind of liberal guy that i've been following lately right. just because he has some interesting takes um and he's a gamer and he's been kicked off periodically from twitch and he's like pretty left right so but he said some sort of common sense things and he he got kicked off like it's just like it's ridiculous and twitch you know, which a, a lot of people have made a lot of great money, and it was our it was our go to back in seventeen mm-hmm. when you know it was kind of our go to. They did it was really kind of the only thing that really was around to distribute your content visually. You know, to to pay compliment to our already audio delivered you know uh, morning show syndicated content. Twitch was, you know, really about our only option, and we really did well there, and have done well there, and really, really appreciate it. But it, I, we've not changed; they've changed. I mean, God, it's ridiculous. And this isn't just me. There's people that are far more have larger volumes and bigger. I mean, Amaruth is one of the largest. Yep. And I mean. I don't know, Blitz, if the new CEO is going to be able to change this ultra-woke mentality they have. But, you know, if you're going to allow people to do a show or have an opinion or, you know, you're you're going to have to be somewhat tolerant of them saying things that could offend people. Sure. Now, there's difference between being, you know, offend and being, you know, liable and slanderous and a problem. You know, because somebody use because a talk show uses the wrong the wrong pronoun to describe somebody shouldn't get them suspended, and especially if it's not in a mean spirited way, right? I mean, theoretically, Blitz, I I I think I, I you've told me, and this is what blows my mind. This should never be. This should never be a problem. For a person to say, you know, if you're born a boy, you should, you know, maybe stay a boy. And if you're born a girl, you should maybe stay a girl. Now, that's not necessarily the way you have to, uh, uh, have your mindset. And it, that's just my opinion. That's just strictly my opinion. How can that, but if I said that, Blitz, at Twitch, could that not get me f- suspended? Uh, Definitely could. Yeah. <clears throat> And that's just I mean, my, and I mean, I'll be honest. I wouldn't say it, right? And I and I have not said it over there, right? I mean, I didn't. That we're yeah. not. We're well, not unfortunately, there. Unfortunately, right. their rules uh, expand just not on their stuff. You can't say it anywhere. They will ban you for stuff you say not on their website. What? Yeah, off platform. They don't care. So you don't have to. You don't have to break their rules on their platform to get banned. You, you just got to break their rules. Yeah, doesn't well, that, matter where it's at. Well, that is that is that blows my mind, sir. Do you know why I pulled you over here in Tennessee? No, because you were speeding in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it's almost right. I mean, I know that that's very rudimentary and it's very bubba like and stupid, but it's kind of the same. Am I not right? Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> yeah. sir. You were going eighty five on uh, right outside of Indianapolis, but but but, sir, I'm in uh, Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, buddy. They called you know, they called it over. They called it over, and we said, oh, we'll get him as soon as he gets over here. <laughs> Give me a break! You try, you try to control my life. You try to control my, 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 my content outside of your forum, especially if it's not like you know, highly, highly. I mean, I mean, I can see where you know, if I was like, hey, you know what? I think it's, oh, I think kids should be able to be touched, and you should be able to have you know, like uh, molest kids and rape women, and uh, you know, black people are no good, and uh, and uh, I uh, I don't like Jewish people, and uh, I'm a Nazi. Like, I mean, like if you if you were saying those things, and and absolutely, 
those are very cancelable, you know, high octane, very, very, very volatile subject matter. That if you do say those things, ask Kanye. If you do say those things and you truly mean them and you're not saying them like I just did in parody, I spoke of those things in parody, then I could see where you could have a problem unilaterally against uh, with it, where any, anywhere you go. I mean, you know, Kanye didn't necessarily say the offensive things that he said in an Adidas forum or, you know, at a, at a, at a shoe convention and he got his ass canceled lock, stock and barrel right across the board. I don't understand how Twitch unilaterally can think like that that's even cool. And you know what? If you do, that's great. But people are going to abandon and not put up with it. And you're going to have a bunch of purpled haired girls in hot tubs with a bunch of pink haired guys playing Fortnite. <laughs> <clears throat> That's what you're going to have. Right? Hello. Oh, hi, Bubba. Is it me? Uh, yeah. Who's, I don't know. This, this sounds like uh, like potentially another radio show. Oh, no, no. I just am on a, a microphone. I'm calling in from my computer, so that's probably why, but I'm just a regular guy. Oh, Blitz, can you tell them? You can tell this is far different than a typical cellular sure. line. Right. You could, um, you're, either, my, my... you're either a great caller that's going to really, really contribute to the show, or you're trying to blindside me somewhere with a Zoinksville Willie. One of the two. I've been doing this long enough that I think I can sniff this out. All right, fair enough. I'm not trying to blindside you at all. I was watching some of your food reviews on YouTube, the, you know, the half the sandwich, not just a bite. By the way, a new one gets posted today at 5. I did the double down from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, very cool. That's exciting. Um, I, I was curious. I know I watched two of the videos and I noticed that in, in two of the videos you uh, commented on how attractive the underage uh, people working at the drive through were. And I'm just curious if you why why you're comfortable posting publicly that you are sexually attracted to uh, potentially underage workers. And I'm not. Today's- I'm, I do. We know how old they are. No, well, you you comment on that. You say you say you think they're underage, but if if they aren't, then you're not saying it. But if they, or if they are underage, you're not saying it. But if they aren't, then you're saying they're sex. There you Do go. You think that's appropriate. I think that I uh, pretty much just put a little disclaimer on there, and obviously they were probably attractive enough to be close to potentially. Uh, you know, a uh, legal age, and I would never, ever condone anybody uh, doing anything with an underage person. But uh, obviously, 18 and 19 year olds are not are not illegal. So I'm um, if if indeed they are so that you do age, feel comfortable. You do feel comfortable saying that publicly then even with all the, you know, and the spontaneous and what you mean with all the trolls and... like you that try to get us canceled and what have you go well, and go get no, that video and it's complain not, on it. I'm not. Go I'm get that vi- Go get- I'm asking you like a man, sir. I'm coming to you like a man and, and I, asking and you. I, I'm not complaining and I, anywhere. I'm not trying to get anything taken and down. And I answered you, I answered you, so I answered you like a man. Okay. I don't have a problem with saying if that person is under 18, then I, you know, they're not attractive. But if they are over 18, they're attractive. Blitz has said the oh, same okay. thing when he sees co-eds, co-eds at University oh, of Tampa. all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. So you guys, you guys. You guys think that's good a good way to be? No, listen, in the spontaneous world that I live in, probably some things that I should say I shouldn't say, but that's just the nature of the beast. And yes, uh, I absolutely, it's probably not the most responsible thing to say, and I should probably see, you know what, what we should probably do is... So you're, you're attracted to potentially underage people? Is that safe to no, say? Uh, no, buddy, I'm not. I, I, will, I am attracted to sure I'm attracted to hot sure chicks, uh, you know, yeah. 15 seconds over 18. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, and then and then you're actually filming them and putting them up on the Internet. You're not you don't have the camera on yourself. You're filming these potentially underage people and putting their their images up on the Internet and commenting on how sexually attractive they are. And, and you and your audience and, the, and your co-hosts think that that's a, a cool and good way to be. Yeah, I know. I, we, we're not trying to condone anything for anybody under the age of 18, buddy. I'm not going to sit and hang up on you. I'm going to let you get all of it you can in there. Yeah. Maybe this no, guy's upset you haven't done a poutine review yet. <laughs> oh, because I'm Canadian? Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, buddy. Like you, I, com- Anna, did I not completely sniff it out? 
Yeah. That he was going to try to zoink Will what, me. What's your point? What are you? What are you, what are you getting if to? If it was a prank, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I have said something? Like I'm just. <clears> we didn't say it was a prank. And the reason, and the reason why you're, you're you're running me through a computer is because you're recording me, and I don't give you the permission. Why would I have to record? I'm you? just telling. I'm, I'm you, telling idiot. you. I can, I can just, I'm telling you that I'm not I, giving I, I, you permission I, to use this conversation on anything that you put. That you. I don't. I don't need your permission. Do you know how this stuff works? I don't need your permission. I can use it if I. I want to. It, it's a phone call that you're putting out publicly, and I don't need your permission to use it. You sound stupid when you say that. Okay, there. Well, I mean, I've never, never, ever, ever, ever proclaimed to be the smartest guy in the room now. You know that. <laughs> I mean, give me that one. At least give that to me, sir. Please. No, I got you, man. I, hey, listen, I used to listen to you back in the day. That's why I said it. It, it. it was genuinely a little bit alarming to hear the way you discuss potentially underage Listen, bud. Let's, 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 your, let's, let's, camera. let's be honest with each other, man on man, okay? Let's just be. Yeah. There's okay. Now, Truly, I, I, you know, if you, if if you think that you're trying to get me in a big Zoinksville, Bubba likes underage girls deal, I'm, I'm just going to talk to you like a guy. I'm going to talk to you like a dude. Okay? okay. You and I are obviously uh, adults, correct? Correct. Right. Yes, sir. And if you and I are at the beach and we see a couple chicks walk by and they are younger, I mean, listen. Would you at least agree that everybody that I made that potential comment on is uh, like certainly not not. 12 or 13. Uh, uh, Bubba, there, there's one girl I'm you asking, made the comment on who is de definitely underage, and, and I would definitely. say was, was in no... Yes, definitely. I, I, can, I can send you the video if you I'd, want. It was I, the last yeah, one I'd, that I watched. I'd love to. Just tell me which one it is. I'll go find it. Which, which one? What is it? Let me go find it for me when he tells us who it is. Okay. Which yeah, one? Well, which, I mean... No, just tell us which... Uh, is, it the, is it the Bojangles one? Is it the Popeyes one? Is it the... Which one is it? We can go find it. And I'll watch it. Yeah. I'll watch it live on the air here. And, and if indeed it's creep and I'm wrong, I'll uh, I'll take my lumps and, and take it down and and then whatever. But anyway, okay, if you no. and I are, you and I are dudes, we're back we're back at the beach, and a couple chicks walk by, and we don't know if they're freshmen at the University of Alabama or they're seniors at Gibbs because it's it you can't really tell. And I turned to you and said, "Man, I don't know how old she is, but if she's of age, whew, wow." Now, yeah, I think most. I, I, I think I'd most stop going to the beach with you. I'd probably oh. stop going to the beach with you. Okay, yeah. buddy. All right. I think most dudes are kind of. Well, well uh, how about this? How about how about this, Bubba? You're a guy, and you're walking on the beach, and you have your your daughter with you, who's 15 years old, and some guy who's nearly 60, a uh, big red tomato looking guy like you, walks by and says, "Hey, if your if your daughter is of age, then she's attractive." Uh, you think that that guy is going to be really happy with you? And no, say, I don't think that he would. Comment to your and, friend and, and, and calling out to right. the person and their family is completely different. Oh, oh, you're different. good. You're good with it. You're good. Oh, cool. I just, cool. it's Thanks not. For, it's like he's in. clearly joking. Yeah, he, it's he not like your, he's he going your, after these people and salary. trying to hit them up he and get their number. Salary, so. He pays your salary. So um, all right, money. buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, buddy. I don't you, know you know what? You. Hey, listen. Don't watch give, the video. Give, give me the video in question because I would like to, to pull it up, and we'll, we'll actually walk through it right here on the show. I mean, the most recent one, I mean, there's one at Arby's, but I mean, you do a lot of reviews at Arby's. Do you want me to send it to you? Do you want me to send you, you the video? Which one is it? You said you know. You just watched it. Which one is it? I mean, just show, buddy. I'm not, I'm trying to be tr as transparent as I possibly, as, as, as transparent as, as you need me to be. Probably, I think I'm actually being more transparent than you've prepared for. Give me the video and I will put it up and play it for everybody to be able to judge. Right now, yeah. right, without being edited, I don't need you to send it to me. Tell me the video. We have better access to them than you do, and we will play it right now. Okay, there's one that's uh, at Arby's. So, do you want me to? You just said he does tons of them at what, Arby's. What, what, yeah. what date? Can you give us you know, a date. What, what, give us a date on the on the video. Or give us timestamp, please. What, you know what day which, was which it? Which food was it? Which food was it? What's what's it titled? What's it titled? We can probably pull it up by title. Well, I mean, I like you. Like you said, you are exactly. correct. I was not ready for you to be this open with it, and so no, I don't have the video up in All front right, of me. Oh, oh, hold on, but hold on. So let me do this. Let me do this. Oh, but, but, but buddy, let me just do this. My phone lines will be available. Okay. So if go do your real, go do your due diligence, write the information okay. down. So and then call me back. Well, I'm here till ten no. o'clock. Call me back. Okay. And tell me, Baba, this is Johnny Canadian with uh, whatever, tell, whatever, whatever, whoever you want to identify as. Yeah. And this is the and give me a list of the videos that you find problematic, and maybe even and we will play them live on the air. And if you got something here, you I'll I'll take I'll I'll take it like a man.
Okay. Okay, I appreciate right. that, Bubba. Call, good man. And, right, and again, that. we're here till 10 o'clock uh, Eastern. Sounds good. All right, bud, thanks. Bye. Well, the last Arby's one, there wasn't Jesus. a young girl in it. God, I can't. I'm trying to. There's another Arby's one that has no young girls in it. Well, he's going to. I know. I'm just I was looking through the Arby's one. Uh, hello. <laughs> Yes, sir. I was just calling the one, trying to get that uh, little sissy boy that was just trying to tell you you're a petty off the phone. Right. And two, any grown man who is not a petty can look at a young child, because I have two, a boy and a girl, and go, that's a good-looking kid, whether it's a boy or a girl. I look at 16-year-old boys and say, man, that's a good-looking kid. I, a listen, good I can I, I can look at Walker and say, you know what? That's a good-looking baby. That, uh, you, you know, oh, for, yeah. uh, now I'm, oh, I'm so oh, sorry. No. <laughs> I guess yeah. everyone that tells me my kid looks too I, cute, uh, I mean, I'm going to fight you, him. You can say, you know, that's a cute kid. That's a cute kid. Yeah, you he can. He's trying to twist your words, bro. He's just trying to twist your words because he's jealous and he's a little woke woman. That's what he is. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It's funny because, like, everyone's happy to comment when someone's ugly. Like, oh, that's an ugly teenager. Or, like, yeah, how many times ugly. did I get, how many times but I get But if you say, like, fat. oh, that's an attractive person. They have, like, a nice face or whatever. They're, they're a beautiful girl or whatever. Then it's like, oh, now you're a pedophile. But if you call them ugly, I then mean, you're not. If you were, what are you going to say? Like, oh, I'm not sexually, sexually attracted to that girl because she's gross because she's ugly. I like, mean, if you, you know, look at if you look at that show we're watching on Netflix, Sex Lives, I mean, I can say that Cooper and Brad, both men, I'm not a gay man. Nothing against those that that are, mm -hmm. but I can say you know both of those guys are pretty damn good looking men. Doctor Diaco is a good looking man. Yeah, but you know, it's Jimmy like Clevis this, is a good this looking guy man. is like walking around pretending that like we're somehow blind to attractiveness until the day the person turns eighteen. Right. Like I could see a girl who's sixteen and be like, she's really beautiful, and you right. know, and she's like whatever, kind of like hot now because she's developed like a woman. But you know, you not I mean, that I'm going to do anything or I'm going to suggest someone else do something. Haven't but, we haven't we discussed that we find that with it, Sophia, Doctor Diaco's daughter? Right. I was not going to bring that up, but that's a great. Well, we, <laughs> no, we can bring example. it up because we, we because we yes, have, because like, we have brought well, it. Up. Are we going to be like intellectually honest and be like, yeah, we have eyeballs and we could see that she's a beautiful girl and she's She's developing into a woman and then you know fair game when she turns 18 whatever right so anyway so. uh hello hi bubba it's me i'm calling back sir oh, all right buddy go, <laughs> go ahead give it give it to me now now i will t procedurally because i'm running behind on breaks in full transparency after you give me the information i'm gonna go to break have Lummy pull them up and then i okay. don't know if you want to be standing by if you want to be on the phone and we go through this together hey, or you want to your show your show, Bubba? So you whatever you want. My All right. Man. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the information from you, and then I'm going to say politely say goodbye, and then I'm mm -hmm. going to go into commercials, and then I'll come back yeah. and I'll 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 go through these videos, and if uh, you would like to call back in after I've well, maybe I should I think it, I think it'd even be better, maybe more transparent if I you know have you on the phone while we play these. Sure. How long's the break? Uh, six minutes and twenty seconds. So maybe oh, you. Good lord. Well, are how you about on just, terrestrial? Just, are just... you still on terrestrial? All right, buddy. Give us the info. On I have. Scram. I have seven <laughs> terrestrial affiliates. Yes, I do. Ranging oh, okay. from, from Charleston, South Carolina, to Phoenix, Arizona, to uh, Melbourne, Florida, to Orlando, to Tampa, to Fort Walton Beach. But yes, we do have seven oh. terrestrial affiliates. So go ahead. Give me the information there, bud. So it's Bubba cuts a promo on Bojangles. So you said Bojangles. So I think you kind of remember what I'm referring to even maybe. But um, Bubba cuts a promo on Bojangles. You can start it at eight minutes on the video. That's where you're filming. the. It, you actually used her in the thumbnail of the of the um, okay. video, which is All right. absurd. All right. We're going to go. We'll, we'll look at that one. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, that I mean that's that's the one that I'd like you to watch. Okay, that, that's the one. That, right. That's the one. It's where the girl is very very clearly underage, and you're commenting not only on her attractiveness, you're actually saying how you want to track her down. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go through all that, buddy, and we'll see just how much of a pedophile slash creep I really truly am, as I have okay. very much a history of that. And we'll go through that. And if you'd like to, while we're while we're breaking this all down, uh, you know, call back and participate, or listen, or have uh, an opinion, or you know, something like that, then uh, you're more than welcome to call back. Sure. See, all right, bud. See you later. Well, we look like we know what we're doing next, don't we? We'll do that next. The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Uh, no. I think he uh, used to go. I think I freaked him out by being so, by... Being so, so transparent, yeah.
그런 시간은 What's up, Nick, the gun guy? Exactly, creatine. Trick me. <laughs> it's all good. Preps just back up. Back it up. Back it up, back it up. Be longer. What's up, Snizzook? Yeah, probably is. Control ass motherfucker. TJ, hum sauce, please. It's hum sauce with two M's. Um, it, it is Dark Match? It is almost eight. Time for a little snackaroo. Rock eight four three. Thank you all. It's all good, dark match. You know I didn't prep that shit. Don't forget about Drake, Jay Gator. <clears throat> Drake is a very important Canadian. What's up, Permagrom? I wanted to give him whatever it is, but... Dr. Dan from Money Maker, good morning. <laughs> Avril living in Canada can have Avril. That's okay, Jay Gator. Yeah, no, fuck me. I'd say Drake and Biebs. <clears throat> Do you like Justin Bieber? But I love me some Drake. Man, I've been called a lot of things. I don't find any one of them. This guy is has too much time on his hands. I was thinking about Jay Hizzo, but you know. Morning, Beef. Unsavory. Exactly, creatine. Too much time.
JU, thank you. Hey, Lum. Yes, Bubba. Will you send me the thumbnail that is associated with this one? Yes. Morning, Skiz Rooter. Morning, Elkhart Rob. Let me know if that link worked. <clears throat> Live from the Sun Belt Rental Studios, it's the Bubba the Love Bus. My mic was not on. I'm having, I'm having regurge issues. Stand by. Mama. Oh. I got something stuck. I don't know. You need some water? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just knocking it down. That's the, that crazy Canadian got me so far clamped up. Probably be get uh, indicted today for being a chomo. <laughs> Finally, the truth exposed. Bubba's a chomo. That's what takes you down. Um, today's after show will be on Rumble. Rumble.com forward slash the Bubba Army. Me, Brent Hatley, and Brian the Babyface Matroni. Running a little looser than normal. It's called the Killer. Bees show. Uh, Lummy, I just got some uh, a new guy from uh, I think new money from the Cash App. New money. Oh, nice. Uh, Edward Regal. Edward Regal. That's brand new money on there too, man. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So, thank you, Anna. That was. Was that you? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I sent him the link. So I wasn't <laughs> no, sure. I know you sent him the link, yeah. but it like disappears when you hover your mouse over it. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> so. So this is the um, the thumbnail. Yeah. Well, um, mm -hmm. you know, the guy says I, I used her image um, in in my thumbnail. Um, I did. Um, I think that she is probably eighteen, and if not, pretty close to it. And uh, um, I. In full disclosure, film and tell them I'm filming for my food channel. Do I not? Mm -hmm. And Blitz, you know, <clears throat> I mean, I'm in a public place and they're working a public drive through. But like, even if she's 12, you're not sexualizing her in this thumbnail at all. Like, no. It's... She wor the only thing I'm doing is, <clears throat> is showing a girl that works at Culver's. Right. That has her drive through set on. That's how she's being portrayed. Um, <clears throat> that's how she's being depicted, right? There's nothing, there's no sexual undertones or anything suggestive. This, and by the way, this, and he, the guy said that I even used her in my thumbnail. Do I find that appropriate? And I didn't know I wasn't familiar with this thumbnail. So I want to be, I want to be completely transparent with everybody and not hide behind anything, like completely show what this guy is talking about, the problems that this guy potentially has with this particular video. And he intimated that I uh, you know, am, am into, a and that I promote um, being into kids. Isn't that, was, wasn't that his kind of his undertone? Uh, yeah, underage females. Yeah. And Anna, wasn't that kind of like, if that's what he was trying to swing to fill me on? And, and I think I kind of called it out. I, Blitz, I've just been doing radio long enough. I know when somebody is trying to zoink show. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I don't think he was necessarily ready for the fact that I knew well, I, I knew he was trying to zoinks me. And so, in full transparency, let's play the clip that this guy says is a problem. And I'll take my lumps. I'll take my lumps on chat. I take, I'll take my lumps from you, Anna. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to be in the mindset that I pay your salary. Blitz, you never are. I'm going to worry about that. Lummy, and I want you to de-stock home yourself. Yeah. Okay. If you can, please. Yes, I will. And just be, you know, bring it like a man. Will do. And uh, and you too, Rat, you filthy ginger with Tom Bean's dog on top of his head. Uh, please acknowledge that you know that Does I acknowledge you. Yeah, sorry. Yes, you're... Ten four. Ten four, Ghost Rider. <laughs> All right, so here you go. This is listed uh, on our YouTube channel. Uh, and it's called, and just in full disclosure for people to be able to go find it and find it and look at it f- uh, for themselves, Bubba cuts a promo on Bojangles, checks out Culver's. Bubba Chicken Sandwich Review, Episode 12. Go watch it for yourself. How you doing? Hi. By the way, I'm not the one that films. The Merch Crick does. It just works out better that way, just to let you know who's running the camera. I do a, uh, sa- a chicken sandwich review on my YouTube channel. Okay. Here's my bumper stickers. No, I don't, I aren't, at this point, I'm disclosing the fact that <clears throat> yeah, I'm not trying to like do some kind of <laughs> hidden camera Zoinksville kind of deal. I, I, I'm full disclosure. Let them know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Because like Blitz says, as soon as somebody you roll up with a camera, people instantaneously want to know what's going on. So you kind of somewhat disarm them when you automatically tell them why you're taping. At least, you know, and I've had some people that Blitz, well, we've, we've had, have we not had a couple well, that and in said full no. full transparency, you did write on the back of it in Sharpie, you're hot and your phone number. <laughs> Before you gave her the bumper Would sticker. you please tell people that that's not true? So that I mean, I don't know that's not true, but yeah, pro- probably not true. <laughs> I love that. Oh, she's super polite, mom. pretending to be interested. <laughs> she's cute as hell. She's cute as hell. I think you no. meant like she's sweet. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean. Like, she's cute as hell. She's like a very sweet girl. And, and, did, now, does, and she was excited does, when no, you gave her the bumper sticker. And does <laughs> cute as hell mean that, you know, you're, I, I, things are, even kids can be cute. She's cute as hell. Absolutely. And when I say that, I mean she's. Like, corgis are cute as hell. Not only is she, what? she's, not only is she, you know, semi, you know, she's attractive. <laughs> I don't know how old she is, but I'm not trying to be inappropriate. And cute as hell means that she's bubbly. Mm-hmm. She's happy. She, and by the way, most people at Culver's are. It like their Culver's and Chick Fil A really train. Maybe they pay more. I don't know, but they pay. Their people are always. I've often, even since I've since this episode, I've been to Culver's three or four or five times. And let me, I always come back and say Culver's is my favorite because the people are so nice to you. Oh yeah, but you refuse so, to get the custard. Which she's me. cute as hell. Yes. that makes me a chomo. <clears throat> Hold on now. I love that. And here's my money. Okay. Thank you. She's cute as hell. Yeah. And she is. She's adorable. Yeah. This girl's adorable. By the way, you're telling your girlfriend that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, not, yeah, I don't have, you know, let me over this, this pants off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling my girlfriend that. Yeah. You sound quite nice on that intercom. Oh, thank you. And she and she did. She You, you could understand her. She had as much enthusiasm. You know, maybe on a, in full disclosure, I should go back and play the intercom. Or is that too? Is that too much? Mm, I don't. I think that's necessary. Right. Just saying, I want to make sure I yeah, have this, yeah, I, all good. bases you're covered. Good. Yeah. So it'll, you're going to be on my YouTube channel next week, next really? Thursday. Yeah. I'm going to follow the Bubba yeah. Army. Okay. okay. Now again, I'm completely telling her, like I'm disclosing you know, that she's going to be r- right on a video. Thank you. And then if you just follow those orange cones in front of the building, that's right. going to be better. Thank you. You guys have one. Right, you too. Well, okay, let's see what I say now. Hold on. This could get me in trouble. Man, she was, I don't know if she was of age, though. She might have been maybe, you know, like 17, which I don't want to get in trouble for, you know, saying she's hot. Okay, so, like, doesn't that completely, like, make what I said potentially less of a problem if I know in my, as an adult man, know that 
Yeah, and I hate to pull the curtain back to everyone, but uh, you're also trying to be entertaining. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. I'm. A, you're right. But you know what made her hot? Not only was she cute, not only was she cute, attract, like physically attractive, but she had the best personality. She was like super cool. You know what, sir? I think that you, I just completely owned you because I don't think you could make a, a big. This was a big nothing burger. Like, I really thought that it was going to be far more, inter- like, real. there's nothing, I mean, like, even the most, the people who hate me the most, and the people that that hate watch us and turn us in, they might even say, like, come on, man, this is a reach. This is absolutely a reach. I need to write, find out who she was, and write Culver's and said, that girl's got it going on, great customer service. Okay, great customer I'll service. Get, I'll get, he's trying to track her. You're it, disgusting, Bubba, saying she on. had great customer service. Hello? Bubba. Yeah. I'm looking, hey. for, I'm looking for that guy to call back in because I'm going to completely shove it right up his ass. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, the other day when you were talking about there's 12 people that sit there and watch you on Twitch just to get you banned, I think one of them just called. Oh, yeah, I agree. And, I yeah. absolutely yeah. agree. There, there's a there, – you're exactly right. There, there are people that, with that guy's mentality, that watch everything we distribute, every piece of content we put out, with just uh, uh, with the mindset of trying to get us canceled. Absolutely. Yeah, and no wonder he sounded like he was on another radio station because he was recording everything you say just so he could give it to Twitch or whoever he needed to. No, no, no. So that he could make it into his own little, you know, uh, you know. Bubba the Love Sponge is truly a yeah, pedophile he does a, he podcast. Does an internet radio deal. Yeah, this guy does an internet. Blitz already knows who he is. Yeah, you just got one of the 12 to expose himself. Good job, Bubba. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Oh, but we are pulled up here now. Look, I'm saying they're, they're trying to distract me with her cuteness. Now I got to pull up. And again, I think Blitz said it best. Um, we're also trying to be funny. Boy, this poor girl here, she has to schlep the food. That's why my food reviews do so well, because people don't know what I'm, 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 a, I'm a loose cannon. Yeah. I'm hard telling the controversial things that may come out of my exactly. fat ass mouth, and it's all sponsored by Honest Dad. He's in it. You know what? Don't Honest, bring my dad into oh, this. Oh, yeah, I was getting ready to say, you know what? You guess who? Don't forget who my number one sponsor of my whole uh, I Like Kids uh, uh, deal is. Oh, God. <clears throat> Sorry, Dad. I mean, the, but I mean, but the guy completely on it, like made it like it was really far worse than this. This isn't uh, nothing. It was a big nothing burger, but you know. How I want to watch. I, I want to watch it all. I want to. Yeah, wa- I mean, you know. I better pull up this next one here. Oh, oh. did she put that on there? Mm-hmm. Did she slap it on there? Mm-hmm. The uh, drive-through girl who I thought was cute slapped on like a little number on my on my mirror. That sleight of hand, which I think even makes her cuter. <laughs> 196. Hold on. I'm, I'm looking for the crazy Canadian. Hello. What? Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Hi there. Hi there. I just found you on YouTube. You're fucking awesome. Oh, oh. Watch, your, watch your language. What? Oh, I can't. You can't say the F word, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm super sorry. I won't say that. Again, I promise. And then he's like, I just found you, and I think you're awesome. Well, thank you. What, what's your, where are you from? I am actually from Illinois, but I'm down in Tampa right now. Right. Like on spring break kind of deal? Yeah. Well, first where, of all, where do you dance? First of all, where, where, are you an adult? Because I don't want to be talking to any kids and get in trouble. Oh. Oh, my God, do I sound like a kid? That's so sweet of you. No, I'm, like, almost 40 years old. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, that's great. That's even better. I mean, things are getting hotter by the second. <laughs> so you, that's so sweet of you. You didn't, know, you didn't know about us and what you saw us on what, on YouTube, Facebook, Rumble, what? Yeah, on YouTube. Fantastic. And you know our show's based out of Tampa. I did not know. That's awesome. So you've never... What kind of car are you driving around right now? I'm not. No, we we're just like down in the casino here. With, oh, like, the casino! Some oh, the casino! Oh, cool. We know someone who's been at a casino lately. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my Wait God. A oh. Hold on. And I was like YouTubing while sitting here, and I was like, "Oh my God, these guys are awesome! I got a call." Yeah. Do you happen to be with a guy named Jared? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh what did he tell you his name was? I have no idea who's around me. No, just pretty boy that I brought with me from Orlando because I paid him to come with me. 
Right. 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 Orlando, do you mean Plant City? Right. Listen, um, thank you so much for for finding us and, and more importantly I, I hope that you continue to uh, to watch us in the mornings if you can or just at least you're familiar with our YouTube channel you can go watch videos over there absolutely thank now, you now, for letting me call and talk to you alright good talking to you you're a good worker right. too bye bye hon uh, thanks bye Hootie I'll give her that hundred you promise yep. Let's... <clears throat> we can sniff out everything Hootie's at the casino <laughs> Found this hot chick, <laughs> hot forty-year-olds at the blackjack table. He's been banned from being on the show from from Regina Hunter during this divorce. Oh. So he finds some L- Illinois fry girl to call in. <clears throat> Hootie, I mean Blitz, good work. That's pretty funny. That's pretty damn good work, Hootie. That's pretty damn good work, my friend. It really is. As much as we bust your balls, that's good work. Yeah, that's funny. That's working smart, Hootie. So hold on, the oh, cute girl slapped Chet him makes on a there? Good point. That could have been Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, that could have been. It could have been Jennifer Aniston. She, Jennifer Aniston's in her 40s. Yes. <laughs> I think she's actually in her 50s. Yeah. Oh, God. She did? She should be a magician, too. She had slight of hand kind I'll of get stuff. on her. That's really creepy to call a woman she's potentially a magician, right. right? Oh, my God. Pedo Clem. I think so far, I don't This would be like my third, 12, 13, 14th review. She might be the, the, the cutest, hottest one so far. Okay, what's wrong with that? Nothing. I mean, far different yeah, we don't know from I call you the police. Now, is it creepy me being a little bit older <laughs> thinking she's cute? Is it creepy? Or are you? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, can't I appreciate a, a cute, attractive girl, woman? I'm not saying I want to go out with her or nothing. I'm just saying I recognize that she's cute. All right. I mean, like, that's funny. And she had a great attitude did she not yes she did and she was gonna give us a follow she said didn't she not yes she did and where did the guy say i'm tracking her down how am i gonna track how what am i doing how am i how am i tracking her down all right well hell i, I still got to review this sandwich don't i this is one of the more lengthy weights Next to Burger King, this is probably the next link, lengthiest way. I want to make sure, Lummy, that I didn't. There's no yeah. big Zoinksville here deal <clears throat> coming on. I want to make sure I get it all. I'm not going to watch all of it. I'm just going to wait till my food comes out. And then I, I don't need to do the sandwich review. I'm sure I did not mention her during that. The same people that train Chick Fil A train these people because it's like my pleasure. They're so they're so. And I think Aussie Grill is also very pleasant. I think. That's- Scuba seed step. Chris Hansen's about ready to jump out of the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, did you true that you showed up with Zemas and some condoms? <laughs> have a seat. Kind of the new way. You get the lower. Blitz, didn't they have to stop that show because one of the guys sued him for like entrapment and won? Uh, <laughs> well, they most of the uh, arrests never went through. Right. You know, you got the... Hey, I'm not sticking up for the kids. For the, I'm not sticking up for the actual sickos. That thought they were talking to a kid that showed up ready to have. I'm not sticking up for those uh, at people at all. I'm not. But I don't know if you can make it a television show necessarily. <laughs> and and for it to not, you know. I wish I they'd think, bring it back. I, I did like it. I liked when the guy, when the cops would be dressed up like in a, in a, as a bush and then tackle the guy when he, when he was running out. Hell yeah. But the woman from Checkers was super cool. So, Oh, there you go. Uh, if I remember right, she was an African-American woman. Hmm. And older. and, and yeah. older with cornrows or like dreads, and I she was like one of my most favorite people too. I don't think it has anything to do with franchises. This thing might have to do with. It is kind of taking long though, isn't it? Pretty long. This is pretty long. <laughs> so we'll make sure to even like when the girl that brings the clothes. I'm, I'm sure I have some type of thing that I say about her. So I want to make sure. Hey, listen, uh, troll! You, you come. I think you really made yourself look stupid, and I, and I, and I, and I think that you were not ready for our transparency. And I'm hungry. Just call, call back, you little bitch. Well, we can just make up a name. We'll just call him. Let's just say John. John, call me back. Me too. Maybe after the. Call me back, John. John. Camera rolls. I'm gonna eat the other half of the sandwich. Maybe. I didn't say after the camera stops rolling, I'm going to go get her license plate number. I said I'm going to eat the other half of the sandwich. Oh, Zoinks, Phil, you got me. I just went by and have the sandwich. Some fat ass 
It's before you are on Ozempic. This is before I got on Ozempic. I'm, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm about 13 or 14 pounds lighter right now as I, can as, as I talk to you mm -hmm. than there. Right to the surface. I'm going to smash the other half right to the surface. Man, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I don't care how cute she was. Again, another reference to cuteness, Clem. Oh, I got my drink. It's cutie, Clem. And I don't like Pepsi as much as I like Coke either. And I'm dying here. Pepsi. I think there's a big difference between cute and, hot, like, you know, inappropriately saying hot. I think mm -hmm. I think I think that there's a big difference. Kids are cute and can be cute. And she potentially was a kid could could have potentially been a kid. And I in in my disclaimer of being entertaining said that. More of a Coca-Cola guy. And Blitz, so isn't it, isn't it like if you tell on yourself and you disclaim on yourself then like it takes a, you're supposed to kind of somewhat insulate yourself unless you're John from Canada and you're a miserable piece of shit. Yeah, but you know I I, I do generally like Pepsi better than Coke. Yeah, yeah, well, you're... Pepsi Zero is pretty much your R. Yeah, Pepsi Zero is good. No, I like Coke. Jesus, my Lord. 196, looking for some action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna, that's very pedal-like, uh, isn't it? Sure. looking for action. Make, make a chicken sandwich with some fries. Throw a thing of American cheese and some kids at you up on there. Let me, you know, 196 looking for action is a, that's, that's is very, a straight, you know. That's kid, code word. Kid thing. Yeah. In the deep world. Jesus. God. Yeah, this is, is this not kind of ridiculous? I'm kind of getting irritated now. Culver's. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There, there I am. That's, oh, there, there I am. Oh, no, that's called. This is when you're. This is when you're tre treading water again, again, and, and like you're just. You can't take five seconds back. You may go five seconds back. Yeah. All right, hold on. Hold on here. Look at this. Look. Wait, hold on. Man, this is. Is this not kind of ridiculous? I'm kind of getting irritated now. Culvers. <laughs> I'm like I'm There's trying my behind those eyes. <laughs> look, 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 You're I'm lost. Just, I'm lost. <laughs> and, and and you know what? I'm in Ocala. It's Friday night. I'm I got a bunch of work to do at the track. I've been working all day. That's why I got this old shirt on. Right. And it gets to be like mm -hmm. nine o'clock, and the cricks like you know. <clears throat> You got you, you got you got to go do that food review. You got to get that done because there there is there was no Bojangles. I was originally supposed to do a Bojangles. Remember, mm -hmm. there's not a Bojangles anywhere close to. No, wasn't it, no, it was closed, closed or something? <clears throat> it was closed. Yeah, you went there and it was closed. Right, it was closed. So I had to do the Bojangles. I knew they closed at ten. I got there too too late. They didn't have any more chicken sandwiches. I cut a promo on them and went across the street to Culver's. Yeah. It's been a long day, and I'm just completely beat. I'm lost. I can't tread water anymore. I can't be funny anymore. I can't be on anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here dying. Seven minutes. Fifteen just at Culver's? I mean, I love Culver's. I never say anything bad about them, but this is a little ridiculous. 16 just at Culver's, not including the Bojangles. Now, listen, Blitz, don't you think if there was a problem with what I said to her because she said that she was going to go follow us, uh, that she would have maybe contacted us and said, I think maybe what you said to me was inappropriate, or her father, or her parents? You would think so. Or Culver's? <clears throat> Culver's. This is... Maybe this is another telemarketer. <laughs> Anna, now I'm getting telemarketers. Mm -hmm. No, this is a guy who has rubs, meat rubs. His name's company. Meat So Horny. It's called Meat So Horny, and he wants me to endorse his meat rubs. Robert from Meat So Horny. For real, I'm not kidding you. Robert from Meat So Horny. Oh, oh. How you doing? Good. Thank you. Yeah, nice All right, you too. 
Oh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what just happened there? I wasn't even paying attention. It rolled right up on me. All right, so we gotta go and. All right, so there you go. I mean, that's that's the review. There's the creepiness. I'm You're disgusting. Guilty. Yeah. I'm gonna talk I'm gonna talk about the cash me outside bitch next. Did you know she's worth twenty million dollars? That's is about thirty million too much. Is she over eighteen now? Oh yeah. She's okay. twenty. She's tw she just turned twenty yesterday. Oh, okay. So you could say she's hot as hell. Oh god no. There she is hot as hell. But <clears throat> when when you see her twerking for her mother, mm. not so much. Listen, John, you crazy ass Canadian, call back now, bitch. Cause now I'm armed with hell what yeah, turn it up. Yeah, turn it on. The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. <sighs> Mary me you're in again. Oh, you're in time. You're in time. One last call for us. Mm -hmm. Three and a half, four. You get them online. Nice. That's not nice. Oh, what's this? Hey, TJ Roy, Roy, <clears throat> you tell him. Good morning, Big E. Mitch Lucerini on the Venmo. I don't know, it sounds like... Harry Cornell. Chad. Kevin Barnett. Thank you, Kevin Barnett. All... On the motherfucking Venmo. Keep that Venmo going. Venmo cash out. PayPal. Good morning, Third Circus Nerd. Good morning, Fierce Cat. Yeah, I've listened to it before. I, some of those ones I've already seen, BTO, so I don't pay shit. He's good. <clears throat> DDP for life, good morning. Pass pitch softball. You know it. Oh, what is this thing? Does that cash me outside girl got a show? Just OnlyFans. Oh, okay. I went on her uh, link tree or whatever. Dan's Bloomin' Onion Maker 20 on the cash. You can get to Dan's Bloomin'. Dan's Bloomin' Onion Maker. Yes, thank you so much, Felix. That's a Hartford car wash. Don't Google me. She's a singer too, Baba. She's a rapper. Actually, bring bring that up to me. Okay. Because.
I'll send you her. Well, you probably can't play the music. It's good with you. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Let me know when you send it. Send it. I come back over. <coughs> I'm fucking follow this bitch. This bitch. I sent it again. Watching and pooping. Ugh. <coughs> What's your name? Um, Bad Baby. Bod, Bob, Bobby, Barbie, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. A lot of views on our uh, YouTube. Oh god. Yeah. You know. She looks way different than she did on. Uh, I can't. I can't. Bless you. Can't put my finger on how what she looks different than when she was in Doctor Phil. She's not 14 anymore. No, I'm saying like it's, there's something else with her. her she was hair. in the sun for a very long time. She's got red hair. Did she? Is that what it was? Yeah, like bright red hair. Oh. Uh, So there's that. nerd that doesn't know how to run some fence or dig a post hole and you want to help out uh, eight o'clock at my track I'm not paying nothing but we'd love to have you Biggie. hang out I'm, I'm, I am catering in a Domino's lunch I think let me Biggie seven three seven five twenty five dollar on their rent rumble uh, Dan's blooming onion twenty dollars in the cash and then a whole bunch of Venmo that I need to get to. I think Mitch Lucerini is one of them. Michael Perez, uh, Harry Carn Carnell, and Kevin Barnett. Thank you very much. Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo at The Bub Army. So again, if you live in Ocala and you want to come out and hang out Bub Army style, no hanging out. Everybody has to work. <clears throat> Please know that like, if you're just somebody that's going there to mark out and get in the way, that I'll have uh, tr Creatine Travis uh, run you off. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got Creatine Travis and Big Red there. Yeah, it's not a meet and greet. It's there. You're there to work. Yeah, you're, you're there, there to work. You're there to hang out. Uh, you're, we'll, you'll get kicked out. Yeah, there you go. Um, <clears throat> so remember the um, cash me outside chick um, from from Doctor Phil? That was I think seven years ago, and it was uh, it was she's just what, back what? when she was hot. Am I right? Oh, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was attracted to her then. I'm not attracted to her now. <laughs> right, I'm, right. The guy from Canada exposed me for what I am. <laughs> Bump the Love Sponge, part of the Washington, D.C. Pizza Club. <laughs> so she had her 20th. It, you know, now that I can fret over her legally, uh, but let's right. say I'm no longer find her attractive. <laughs> and it, it does say that she's. Takes away all the fun. Danielle, is it Bragoli? Bragoli? Bregol, I don't know, something Italian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dan, the, the cash me outside, bitch. That girl, she's worth twenty million dollars. She now, I will tell you that some of her music isn't it, bad. Isn't too bad <laughs> if that's what you like. You know, if you like that real urban, real, real Nicki Minaj, that kind of deal. Almost not English. 
Uh, yeah, almost not English. Very Ebonic uh, English from a white girl. Then she's going to be right on your alley. She uh, twerked on her mom for her 20th birthday. Here it is from TMZ. She flew. I guess she was in New York. She has a house in New York, and she also has one in, in Florida. And she flew a private jet with her and her friends to her home in Florida and celebrated her 20th birthday. Uh, and this is footage from her 20th birthday. That's that's her right, right, oh. right there, and that's her that's her mother mm-hmm. who brought her to the show because there was a problem, and right. now her mom has all this money, probably. Right, right. No, it's not a problem. No, See, now problem. that was a problem when you're on Doctor Phil, but it's and you're not. 14. A, and you're 14, which I would agree it is. Yeah, not so much a problem now. But when you're 20 and you got your mom, you know, a three or four million dollar crib. Yep, she's driving and, a Mercedes now. And you're driving and, and your mom's driving a Mercedes. Yep. Uh, uh, this bitch is driving a Ferrari, amongst other things. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, you have something in common with her. Oh God, what? Oh, she is in the. Uh, she's a. She's a Jewish person. What? Ashkenazi. What is it? It's, nope. Say it. Ashkenazi Jewish. Yep. Italian, Irish, Norwegian. She her, has. Her last name is Piskowskwitz. She has um, seven point five five million followers on YouTube. She's given away. Uh, God bless her little soul, though, Anna. She's get, she's given away a one point seven. So I probably shouldn't say this for this video, but for old times' sake, hey bitches. So it's been a while since I made a video. I've been chilling and staying out the way, but I'm very proud of what I'm about to announce. I'm doing something that everybody loves, which is giving away a lot of money. One point seven million dollars. This isn't just a giveaway, like just handing out money. You actually have to go to school. It's a scholarship. I'm here to announce Bad Scholarships, which is my $1.7 million scholarship fund. Oh, she just had a birthday uh, this past Sunday. Yeah, she's 20. Her birthday was uh, like March 23rd or something like that. It was March 26th, actually. Oh, she, b- blit! What? You, Tom oh. Bean, Nancy Pelosi, and now Bad <clears throat> bad Barbie. Cash bad me outside. Bo- bad Bobby. <laughs> Before y'all start talking. Man, I hate to say it, man, but oh, I'm not going to say it. She's 20. She was cuter when she was younger. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Bubba. She looks all ghetto. Out of this no, I mess. mean, I'm just, I'm like, I'm not, I'm, I, this girl does zero for me, but now she's all ghetto and tatted up and it's greasy faced and ew. About, Hold on. I wasn't attracted to her then and I'm not attracted to her now. How about that? How could you give scholarships out? You didn't even go to college. You didn't even finish school. Bitch, I didn't need to, but this ain't about me. This is about y'all. First of all, I'm 19. <laughs> when would I have even had the chance to go to college? Maybe I will go to college. Probably not. But anyway, <laughs> so you may have seen that I made a couple dollars the last year. And when people see that, they start asking me for money for school and boob jobs and stuff. But we're going to go with the school. Stay tuned for bad boob jobs <laughs> next People have also asked me. Man, I want to punch this girl in the face. She really rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. For money to help them start school or start businesses or fix noses. I've been donating money to different organizations, trying to help the kids and also donating to help clean up the troubled teen industry. I wanted to figure out a way to give people money, not just by walking around handing out $100 bills, but by actually making sure that they take the money and do what they're supposed to do with it. So instead of going to college for four years, I wanted to help people who don't have the time money, resources, or desire to do four years of school. We're giving scholarships to accredited online trade and technical schools. Let's break it down now on how the scholarships work. One million is for $1,000 scholarships. The program's total costs are about two to $7,000. So at a $1,000 scholarship, you're- I've heard enough. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, no, she's hold on trying. a second. Did she like team up with the, the school? I don't know. You want me to go? Let me go further. Because if the if the scholarships are so five to seven thousand, this for this video. and she gave a thousand towards that, quote unquote, she did. Is the school just doing that because they know their cost is like two thousand? Yeah, they're, they're, you're gonna have to help me out with this with this you know with this math here. Hold thousand thousand dollar scholarships. All right, so that's a million. The program but, but total cost. Are- She's only giving away thousand dollar scholarships, <laughs> and the total. Is the two to-, to seven. So the trade schools that potentially people that would want these scholarships need to be in to qualify 
the cost of those trade schools are between two and seven thousand dollars, correct? Right. And she's handing out one thousand. So she's paying for potentially maybe half of your education. But, but are, at, at most one half. But what I'm saying is, is the school in on it and said, "Hey, look, we'll let you give away a thousand of these scholarships. You can say it's from <laughs> you, but realistically, they know." Their cost is, let's say, a thousand bucks for the school for the student. Right for their their, de- gonna their charge, dead hard. They're going to charge five or six or seven thousand. Right. So it's that's their profit. That's yeah. their margin of profit. So they're throwing out their margin of profit and getting at least they're the still cost. Money. Well, they're at yeah. least getting the cost of it. I see what you're saying at a they're minimum. To- right. $7,000. So at a $1,000 scholarship, you're already on your way. All of these are online and you don't have to worry about travel or other costs. $500,000 for 50 $10,000 grants. 50 of our graduates are going to get $10,000 each to start one of their businesses. Here's some of the programs that we cover. Business of Cosmetology, Sports Management, Artist Management, Certified Cannabis Grower. That's a popular one. Cybersecurity, Wedding Planning. Here's some examples yeah, of average salary. This is salary. an ad is what this is. Yeah, this is a very slick street level guerrilla marketing ad. Am I not right? Yeah. But brilliant nonetheless. At jobs you could potentially get. Do you think Blitz that she actually is given any of her own money? No. From graduating from these programs. Freight broker in Georgia, sixty four thousand a year. This is Project manager Manager in Washington, DC, eighty nine thousand. Web developer in New York City, seventy eight thousand. Restaurant manager in Dallas, Texas, fifty three thousand. So now, do you think it's with just like I'm sure one it's a, particular a very, school, one, a very, 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 very minute amount of, you it, know. It looks like it's with a tuition tuition financing company. There you go. Edu Capital Foundation. What they do is that she gives a thousand, you pick the school, and then they then you pick what uh, financing that you want from them. From them. Yes. Ed, Ed, Edu wow. Capital Foundation. Br- br- brilliant. Yeah. But nonetheless, not, code, not nearly as transparent or as what it seems to be. It's not her giving away $1.7 million. It's no. not. It's her making money off of this is what it, I'm sure. I tame in. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that, you know what? You're right. She's probably a pay, they, she, they're, she's look, probably charging good, them 50, 80, 100 grand a year, you know. Good for her, but don't, don't come off as you're giving away $1.7 million of your own money. Right. 88000 Travel agent Scottsdale, 64000 Graphic designer in Houston, 60000 So come get this money. Maybe you graduate from music or the business of cosmetology or artist management. Dan, did you take the business management class? No, I'm sorry, I did not. Okay, you're fired. <laughs> and finally, $200,000 for 10 $20,000 scholarships. These are full-ride scholarships for 10 students that I'm going to handpick. For these, you could be going to any school. So what are you waiting for? We're ready to go right now. Go and again, this isn't her money. This is, <clears throat> does it have, Lummy, the fine print as to this is a finance company that basically she's yes. the spokesperson for? Yeah, it does uh, on yeah. the website. Thebadscholarships.com. Yeah. So, so that's how you're able to, to, to debunk it nonetheless. It's essentially just like a promo code, and they get like $1,000 knocked off or something. Yes. Right. And she gets kicked back. <clears throat> yeah, she probably does. Oh, yeah. Did you blitz her most popular video ever? Uh, I think it was her one of her very first rap songs. Is it called Best Friends or something? Because that's actually no. It's kind called of a Hi song. Bitch. What Hi Bitch? What you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and I got two hundred and twenty-four million views. And I don't know how long I can play it, but I'll try to play it until it gets, becomes a problem. Bad, Hi Bitch. Ba- what? Hi Bitch. Hi Bitch. Oh God. Happy. And what's her name again? Bad Bobby? Danielle. No, I mean oh. her artist name. Bad, Bad Bobby. Bobby. It says right there, Bad Bobby. Let's I know say. what it says, but I can't pronounce <laughs> I it. I don't know how to say it, Blood's got to it. I know what it's, I know how it's spelled. I can't say it. Say it for me. Bad, Bad Bobby. Bad Bobby. Bad Bobby. Bad Bobby. Happy. Ouch, <laughs> I don't know, that hurts. Basic bitches, y'all look like you still fly, I fly do. spirit. Yep. <laughs> Let's not forget. What made her, you know, pop culturally famous was a Dr. Phil episode. And talk about bad parenting being rewarded yeah. or being rewarded for being an absolute impossible monster of a child. Thanks, Dr. Phil. No, thanks, society. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, society, for being so, so bad that a person that acts this way now is worth, you know, 50, 60 million bucks. 
because you're <clears throat> because because you just were such a hellion. Your mom couldn't handle you. Doctor Phil did a segment on you, and then and like man, does that not anybody that would give this woman a dime? Doesn't that just show you how bad our, how just bad of a we are as a society that we've made this that we've made this person that famous when this is what brought her to the this is what got her to a you know to the pop cultural uh, phenomenon that she's become this right here go after me good good bitch like if i tell her like hit me she'll try to hit me and i gotta like dodge her because if she hits me I, i'm giving it to her and i'm pretty violent i must her in the face because she wouldn't get out of my face either i'm breaking down her door or she's breaking down my door I don't stop till I start seeing dents in the door. Because I knew what I was doing, you did it. She's so over-exaggerated. But she'll be like, oh, she threw boulders at my window. The pebble's like this little. She'll threaten me. If you don't do this or that, then I'm going to call your PO. You got one more time to hit me, Danielle. You got one more. I ran out four times in one day. And the cops brought me back every time. She wants me to be sent away. You want me in just as bad? Put me in jail. So tell me what you think you're doing that contributes to this chaos and this problem. I don't behave disrespectful. I steal cars. I steal 13. <clears throat> I steal cars. Her credit card. I ain't going to lie. There's no reason to lie. Everybody know already that. What do you say to yourself that gives you the right to take somebody else's car? I'm trying to be sliding, f*** you mean? That's what makes me want to take the next bitch car. What? 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 Uh, the, what? what? It makes you fly? I, I don't. Fly? I, I don't. Can some, can some, can I, I need a lifeline? Can somebody? I can't translate Anna, that. Can you help me out, no, please? No, I cannot. You're Sorry. The young, you're the youngest one here. Can no, you know I, the sad thing is? No. She did it right. What do you mean? She's a multi-millionaire. I know, I know. I mean, it, I'm disgusted Yet, you know, somewhat amazed, I guess. Right. Maybe maybe even a little jealous. Yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting, but maybe, like, I get it. Maybe a little jealous. Right. Slide, f*** you mean? That's what makes me want to take the next bitch car. What now? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. <laughs> me either, Phil. <laughs> Do you have an accent of some sort? Tell them where it comes from. You know. <laughs> from the street. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> Tell me again. Again, Dr. Phil actually was doing this bitch a fa like just giving her the largest oh, yeah. platform to be the biggest degenerate. Yeah. And the more over the top, the more that means she's going to be right. I mean, it just that that just shows you how screwed up we are, man. What is it you say to yourself that gives you the right to take somebody else's car? I don't say anything to myself. I just say, all right, that's a car. There's some keys right in front of me. I know where the car at. You know where the car at. <laughs> did you did you go to the fifth grade? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm asking, how far did you go? Dr. Phil, you're way out of your league with trying to cut on this bitch. Mm -hmm. She will cut you down to shreds, buddy. Well, no. I stopped the seventh if you want to get technical. You stopped at the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. So you did go through the fifth grade. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was just curious. Okay. So. And you, now she's probably, I mean, I know Dr. Phil's worth laughing. a lot of money, but Dr. Phil, you handed this 40, 30, 50, however million dollars this bitch is worth. You, oh, yeah. You, you single-handedly handed it to her. You just take it and you don't consider that it belongs to someone else. No. Are your keys in my room? You're asking for it. You don't leave your keys. In, a per in someone's room when they've stolen cars before. Like, you asking for it. Um, so what do you think is going to happen when you happen to steal somebody's car that disagrees with that and decides that they're going to drop a hammer on you and prosecute you to the full extent of the then law? Then I do my time in jail. Jail ain't nothing. That's what I always do, and they never catch me. Ain't nobody going to catch me. Right. Because you're too streetwise? Yup. And all these hoes laughing like something funny. She's talking about the audience. That they're laughing at her. Did, did you say the, the, the hoes are laughing? Yep. 
So the audience are a bunch of hoes. Yeah. Catch me outside. How about that? Huh? Catch me outside. How about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? What I just said. Catch her outside, and she'll go outside and do what she has to do. Screw you, Barbara Ann. Exactly. You're, you're just, you know what? You're, yeah. you're really the. This just came out of your polluted uterus. <laughs> That's what your mom's rap name should be called, Polluted Uterus. Mm -hmm. That's what she's talking about. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is okay, all, yeah. This is all, but don't you see that this is all mouth? This is mouth. Oh, so you want to take this outside? Because I think they can bring cameras outside. Really? Because I think I flipped you. You want to do it again? Danny, don't get all tough. Please don't. This is not the place right, and this is not the Sit down. Sit down. All right, Danny. Sit down. Me Meanwhile, she literally, she's worth 30 or $40 million. Oh, yeah. How about Corpus Boy 01? $25 on the rent? On the rumble. $25, thanks. Oh, don't flip me now. So anyway, yeah. She started OnlyFans the day she turned 18. Yeah, and supposedly didn't. I mean, I don't know. There's always these, you know, conflicting rumors about who made Maybe what. Maybe she took that picture before she was 18. Right. Yeah. But, then, but then didn't she supposedly make a million dollars her first day on OnlyFans? Again, the first couple hours, yeah. Yeah. All from the polluted uterus. Oh, Barbara. If we go to words, I'll come back. Tom Brady, man, I got to tell you, how old is Tom Brady? 45. Jesus, God. Looking good. Well, I, I shouldn't probably be saying that I now. Know. A guy from Canada is going to be on, on the phone line saying, oh, now now you're putting over Tom Brady. Not only are you a pedo, but you're gay. You are like you like men and kids. You'll just bang anything. Bah! you like just men and kids. <laughs> men and kids, Clems. What's your name should be called? The Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Robert Drummond and Chris Ashley. I think Chris Ashley is new money. We'll get to him on the back. Thank you, Chris we Ashley. Back. Thank you, Corpsey boy. Never Corpsey. Gonna give, oh, never going to let you down. Never going to say goodbye. I love you. you. I'm going to hold you up. I'm going to let you down. I'm going to serve you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> exactly, J Boy. Oh my God, are you look at her? What? Should be. Should be a really good one. <coughs> good morning, Nick the Guy Guy. Good morning. Morning, West Tampa. West Tampa, Mike 71. Biggie, Grouper, Lit.
Get some, Megan. Get it, Meg. I like her now. I kind of like always, her. I've always liked Megan Kelly. I kind of like this bitch. Yeah, I've always liked her. I like hers. Frank and Dennis. Money, Robert Crom Cromula. Fuck, I'm, I'm the worst at fucking saying. Reading names. stuff. Help me out on a K O M R A U S. One more time, K R. No. Oh. K O M R A U S. Cromrus, Rouse, Cromrouse. Cromrouse. <sighs> Michael Perez. Who it is? <clears throat> I have some problems. He's today. an apologist. Oh, fuck. You're right, Tabata. <coughs> Put some sumo. You're so, she's so nice, Sumi. Some new money, Venmo. Nice. Robert, uh, what, how do we say Anna? Com. Cre cre com. Clumrouse? Rou what was it? I forgot. Yeah, me too. K O M R A U S. Robert. Comrouse. Comrouse. New money, he says. Michael Perez, West Tampa Mike. That's all on the Venmo. Troy Tabata. Better known as Sumo. The number one most popular person in the entire metropolitan area of Columbus, Indiana, Lummi. Yes, he is. Chris Ashley as well, and Robert Grumman on the Cash App. Cash App, Vidmo, PayPal, all at the Bubba Army. Today's after show will be the killer bees. Audibly, you'll be able to hear us on our app, the Bubba Army app, which you can get anywhere, or BubbaArmyRadio.com, or the TuneIn app. Uh, and then uh, visually, we'll be on Rumble, rumble.com slash The Bubba Army, where we can run a little bit looser over there, uh, nonetheless. Uh, let me, we, uh, Anna sent me a t 
TMZ Sports article of Tom Brady. What what beach was this? This doesn't look like I read water. it. I don't think it says, but I think it's somewhere in Florida. Uh, it was in the Bahamas. I believe it's oh. Baker's Bay. Oh, is that where it was? It, it is in the Bahamas. I did not know Baker's Bay. Did they Bay. all kind of like do like a, like a bro trip kind of deal? Yes. Yeah, but uh, was it Gronk or who who brought the girl? Uh, One of them brought their girlfriend. Edelman? Oh, Edelman? it was uh, Edelman? Rob Gronkowski, Julian, Julian Ed- Edelman, Danny uh, Armadella, <clears throat> and Tom Brady were all in uh, the Bahamas. Oh, don't forget Hootie and uh, also Blaine Gabbert. Who? Blaine Gabbert, the backup quarterback for the Bahamas. He's the big fat guy that's in the background right there. Oh, he he went too? Yeah, they just didn't name him, I guess. Man, how much would that suck if you're Blaine Ga- Gabbert <laughs> and you are a professional quarterback in the NFL, in the NFL although a backup? And you're you're Tom Brady's well you're Tom Brady's backup aren't you Yeah you were yeah you were at one four time. years yeah and first round pick <clears throat> and uh, yeah where's he at now uh, He's a free agent and hasn't been signed not yet No you're in the Bahamas chilling out you don't even get a mention No <laughs> and you get a picture by looking horrible looking yeah. worse than everyone there Tom Brady man age forty Tom, look at that man looking good <clears throat> Does he not look good as hell Yeah. Who brought the girl, and where is there any pictures I, the, the of the girl? The one I sent you is... You got to send to me again because it disappeared. Thank you, buddy. I want to say it was Edelman, because mm. I think he's... I think that's Gronk's girl. Is it? Man. Oh, that Camille chick? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. See, that's her. That first picture is her at the at that beach. Oh. At that same yep. facilite? Yep. I think if you scroll down, it might have pictures of her and Gronk. I think Edelman's married. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's Gronk, that's, right? Yeah, that's Gronk right yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so she was there. Oh, pretty nice. Hey, Gronk, way to bring Sand to the beach on a on a, on a girl on a you know guys. A boys trip, yeah. They didn't bring their <clears> wives. Boys trip. No, they they brought he brought a son too. Tom Brady brought his. Oh, he did. Son, Jack. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's so like then, a family deal. It okay, seems. so Tom brought his son Jack. Gronk brought his hot girlfriend. Yeah. Um, and then you said Edelman might be married and might have brought his wife. I know he's married. Maybe he he didn't bring the wife. Mm. He better have helped. He did. Yeah. If Gronk brought the girl. Yeah. And then your wife finds out that you know one of the boys brought his girlfriend and Tom Brady brought his son and you are married and you didn't bring your wife. Oh, it looks like Brady brought his uh, daughter too. Oh, that even makes it more wholesome. Does it not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wanted this this to be a a dirty thing, but it's not at all. It's very wholesome. Nonetheless, Tom Brady is just absolutely a stud. It still looks like he could play. Sure does. What's going to happen with my Aaron Rodgers? Well, well, draft day, we'll probably find out. Hello. Hey there, Bo. Hi, buddy. Hey, Lane. Bu- hey, buddy. This is Lane Thomas uh, calling out of Charles, South Carolina. How you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. How you doing up here in South Carolina? Listen to us on 98 Rock in the last? Yes, sir. Sure am. Perfect. Y'all had a heck of a show today. I've been sitting in my excavator laughing my behind off. Man, what kind of excavator? <laughs> Hold on. As much as you like the show, I like excavators. What do you got right now? Right now, I'm running the uh, Cat 349. Oh, that's a big one. A, mid, yes, a, a mid-sized one, but, I mean, oh, what is, what's the bucket on that? Like about f- five, four yards? Yeah, it's, it's a four yards. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> about, yeah, what, probably about a, for... tw- about a 24 to 27-foot boom? Yeah, something about there. Yeah. What do you, what, what, it's what, a big machine. What do you excavate? Like, what, what's, what's the particular task that you're doing? Uh, right now, I'm digging up a pond. I'm just making a little bit of a uh, nice little pond out here and grading it all out and everything. All right, so you're baking. How far? How far deep you going? It's about uh, ten foot. So is it like a retention pond for a big business? Yes, sir. You're doing some site work, and they and the state and uh, survey requires for a certain amount of retention drain off, and that's what you're doing. Exactly. <laughs> what type of material? Like, like, will you just? Are you doing straight dirt? Or are you getting any clay, any lime rock? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a whole bunch of that red clay that we got up here. Oh it's man, I wish I had that from a track. <laughs> oh yeah. Now you got? Do you yeah. got like a triaxle dump truck hauling it away? Or are you just putting in a pile? Yeah, well, right now we're piling it up, but uh, later on in the week we'll be hauling it out. So for, you'll get go from an excavator to a front end loader. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not too honest to God. I'm not too bad. On, first of all, I'm really good on a grader, and I'm and I'm, but I'm not, and I'm pretty good on an excavator, but I'm not good on a front end loader. I can't ever get the but. Like I know there's some old school tricks where you're supposed to take a sharpie, and I know they got the memory sticks too, where you set it so that you the, your buckets you know parallel to the ground so you can scoop more efficiently. But I can't ever get the hang of a front end loader. 
I always either gouge, yeah. I either gouge out too much, or I, don't, I skim it off the top and don't get a good a good scoop. <laughs> yeah, there's there's certain little tricks that you learn over the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, any, what, anything else? I'm, I've made it all about all about your equipment. Anything in particular you wanted to call in, buddy? Because I, you know, I'm just I'm a mark for your equipment, and you're a mark for the show. So it looks like we're marks for each other, nonetheless. Yes, sir. No, I, I've never uh, called in or nothing like that. I've sent y'all a little bit of money over here and there, but uh, I've uh, I've been listening to y'all for probably ten years or so now, and I just thought I'd give you a call and. And let y'all know how, uh, how much I appreciate y'all's show, and it's been making me laugh all morning. <laughs> and you know, you're and you're and you're kind of guy where you can listen to us free on ninety eight rock, you know. And then uh, yes, when sir. you get home later that day, you can watch some videos, and you can contribute in any kind of way you can. We appreciate you, buddy, more than you know. Most certainly, yep. And I'll sit here and I'll plug in my Bluetooth. I'll listen to your podcast after ten o'clock. <laughs> appreciate it, my friend. You take care, and more importantly, man, uh, kick ass on that three forty nine, kid. Yes, sir. All right, man. Have a good day. All right, buddy. Yeah. Thanks. Man, I wish I had a three forty nine. Oh yeah, who does? Never, who do, God, yeah. <laughs> My God. Three forty nine can knock this whole building over in about ten minutes. Hello. Is that what you want it for? No, <laughs> no, not really. Well, yeah, you know what? I would. My insurance went up, Blitz, and I think I just found out from Mark Tate that I do have content insurance in here. Oh. <clears throat> so you know, just yeah. Praying for a hurricane. Praying for something. Hello. Yes, Mark the Frog. Yes, Mark the Frog. How you doing? Good. I started to watch that show last night, uh, Sex Life. Yeah. I'm in the second episode, but uh, that girl was on The Sopranos uh, the last season when Tony goes to Vegas and gets high in peyote. Oh, I only you would know that, Mark the Frog. I mean, uh, you mean you're talking about the woman that stars the the, the naughty girl? The girl yeah, that kind of reminds me of, you know, Anna, I got to looking at her yesterday, the hot, naughty girl that, you know, um, Bobby. Billy. Billy. Billy, she kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You got a little Billy in you. Thank you. No, no problem. Yeah, she she was a stripper in Vegas, and Tony yeah. got high with her. Yeah, just like you, Anna. Mm, there yeah. you go. Just like stripper me. in Vegas, yeah. and Tony got high with him. That's yep. some, that's right down. I mean, you used to work. It. Anna, didn't you do daytime at Oz before Cox? I, I did. Okay, actually. there you go. Fun fact. Yeah. There's something so you guys didn't know about Anna Hummel. Like she was a daytime girl at Oz before uh, Keith Lawless spotted her during uh, a daytime shift and brought you in. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Liquid lunch. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> Keith Lawless and uh, yeah. Jay and um, ah, I forget who else, uh, whoever else. I think it was just Keith by himself. Mm-hmm. And uh, after he freshly got broke up by his wife, and he was down there uh, at uh, at Oz in, look, the, in look, the VIP in the VIP, and Anna, you know, took asked Keith if he wanted you know a real VIP experience. And, yeah, well, he threw out the cash. So uh, so there you go. Yeah. Anyway, Mark DeFrog, thank you for the fun fact, nonetheless. Um, I, uh, I, those shows on Rumble, those after shows, it's off the chain. It reminds me of serious days. Yeah, we, uh, I got one with Hatley and, uh, and Brian Petroni today about mm, 10, 15. So, and it's exclusive to Rumble. We won't be on YouTube or, or Facebook, so it's going to be exclusive to Rumble. So rumble it up, buddy. Yeah, and the, the, the exclusive podcast from yesterday, I don't even know where to begin. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and, you know, Mark the Frog, if you were to give us an overview of the exclusive podcast that we did yesterday, I can't quite remember it, but can you tell me what I did? Uh, well, I don't know if I, I can... <laughs> Well, I mean, Mark the Frog, you know, Mark the Frog, Mark the Frog. You've listened to this show long enough. You know the words you can and cannot say. So and try to be, an, uh, you know, unlike, try to be the educated trucking uh, Canadian that you are. Unlike the, you know, the, the fine country of Canada was represented by a real piece of crap earlier today that tried to, make, tried to paint me into a pedophile corner over some stupid Bojangles food review, which there was a big nothing burger. So right now, Canada's 0 for 1 with us right now as a country. I know there's a lot of great Canadians listen, but only two have called today. One was an asshole. Now, how about pulling mm-hmm. the Canadian uh, the Canadian nose up today, uh, metaphorically, Mark? Go ahead. Well, the stuff you talk about, it, like, like I said, it's like uncensored and self-deprecating. You were very down on yourself, but uh, like in a good way. Oh, but it sounds just like the other color from Canada. Very down on myself and degrading. <laughs> it's like everybody, all from, everybody from Canada thinks that I'm a, a piece of crap. Hey. Well, hey. in a good way. Yeah. It was funny as hell. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would suggest that you guys go find Monday's and yesterday's exclusive show on, on anywhere that you get your podcasting. 
Uh, they were very good shows. I can't remember either, mm -hmm. but Mark says they were off, as he would say, off the chain as, off he's, hauling, the chain. as he's hauling potatoes across the great... Um, no, I got carrots right uh, now. Yes, got... he's hauling carrots, carrots. across the Yukon. <laughs> yeah, go to Montreal, and I had nearly spun out twice. It's a snowstorm here now, and I got to stop. I nearly well, spun ham out hammer, twice. Hammer down. Hammer down, ice, like Rick from Ice Road Truckers, that you was Big Bubba Army back in the day. Yep. Never left. Yeah. You got and, the gift. Uh, Don't I've lift. Three, and I've had three colonoscopies. I'm 57 now. And uh, because my mom had colon cancer history, so we all had to get one after 50 years old. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm going to poop it. I'm gonna poop, I've had one, and then I'm, it was good, and I'm going to poop in a box <clears throat> and then uh, maybe do a, 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 a colonoscopy kicker after I poop in the box. And I was, I was wide awake all three times, like, 43 years old, 48 years old, 53 years old, no pilots, nothing. Yeah, hold on. Why would you choose to be? Awake. Why would you choose to be awake, man? I wouldn't want, like, you know, while they're sticking uh, a very, very long rod in into my intestines through my rectum. The I don't. I work. don't know if uh, if if I would want to be awake for that, sir. The stuff didn't work. Like they put me under it. And I, Oh. For some hour, I could watch the whole thing on the street. As oh, they were doing it. So hold on now. Did, did it did it put you under enough where you couldn't talk, or <clears throat> did it did it put you under? Uh, you know, because like I, what would be worse? I've heard of 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 that type of hap things happening where somebody's been in surgery and they didn't go Wake under up. enough to be. They could feel every cut, but they were paralyzed to uh, where they couldn't talk, but they could feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't really talk. But I could kind of see in the screen. I turned and turned the screen. I want to see. And it was like the movie Alien. You know, when they go in there, like the, the alien, like the first movie. There, yeah, I'm I familiar with what, like a, what, you're, what you're, I'm familiar with what the scope of a colonoscopy as they're traveling through your colon. I'm familiar with it, what that footage looks like. Yes. Very alien. -like. Oh, yeah. And I gotta go again at the next year, fifty-eight years old. Right so. now, did you have any polyps at, of your other three appearances? The first one, I had one polyp. The second one, zero. The third one, zero. Right. And I've been trying to heat pain, so. And, we'll here, and, here, and here's the thing, man. If you're if it runs in your family. Like, and this is kind of a PSA. If it runs in your family, man, you really should be proactive, like Mark, because those polyps start out as just little polyps, and they, and as they're giving you your colonoscopy, they remove them. There's a, there's a little thing on the on the on the scope that like cuts them and cauterizes them, and you can't feel it because it's in your intestines. But those my, are what those brother, are what those are what become problematic and turn into cancer if you don't address them. But if you address them when they're little, then you, you know, won't get colon cancer, so to speak, like your mom did. Yeah, and my brother, well, he won't have brother, to do it no more. Brother, spelled with a D. B-R-O-U-U-D-D-D-E-R. Like a rudder with, with e -R, brother. brother. E, my brother won't have to do that no more. He died last year of pancreatic cancer. Oh, oh that, supposedly that's the worst. Like, as soon as you get that, yeah. they say you're done, you're done. So they rarely catch well, it before stage days. four. So anyway, Mark, we're, uh, we're pre appreciate your uh, input today. The ins and outs of getting your uh, colon uh, colon cancer uh, diagnosis, colon scope, Willie, uh, with my my mom and my brother have died uh, kickers. We appreciate you, buddy. Uh, make sure you take care of those carrots you're hauling and don't spin out, eh? No, for sure. For sure. Good, buddy. <clears throat> Break it down 10-4. I got to tell you, man, I am very much a Megyn Kelly fan. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, I mean, they, are you I, sure? Are you saying she's hot? Because she used to be kid once. Well, I probably liked <laughs> Megan Kelly more when she was maybe closer to seventeen. But uh, however old she is now, she still does it for me. Oh, she's killing! And, and I like. How I like, old is she? She's like forty-two. She's she, fifty-two. She looks great. I was going to say forty-four. And I like the uncensored forum, and where she doesn't have to, you know, worry about being on Fox or NBC or whatever. Now, does. Is she exclusively on Sirius XM with a visual kicker or a YouTube? Like, how are they? How is Megyn Kelly distributing her content? I think she's on Sirius she's XM. She's on Sirius. But it, obviously, there's a visual component to it, too. See it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. cool, Sirius has, has video on some other stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. It, so she's just on uh, Sirius right now, it says. Man, she's, I, I, whew. Which a visual. Yeah, video. She does it for me and her talk. I love her talk, too. 
there's something wrong with our society, and I, for one, am f- sick of the knee jerk wrong. Hold on, with our, when a, when a, some, hold on. When a hot chick drops the f bomb mm, in a newsy type fashion, mm. oh, it bones me up, cuz. There's something wrong with our society, and I, for one, am f- sick of the knee jerk. It's the guns. Get the guns. We have 330 million guns, maybe over 400 million by some counts in in America. They're not going away. We could do a assault weapons ban tomorrow. They're not going away. All right. We have to take a serious, honest look at what's wrong with us. Yeah, be, and there ain't nothing wrong with you, she's sweetie. She's right. She no, like I said, it's Anna. Like- it makes her even that more attractive yeah. when this type of stuff is coming out of her mouth. Yeah, I yeah. love her. St- I love her talk. I love. I love her. Megan Kelly blasted those calling uh, for gun control following the shooting in Nashville, citing that there's over 300 million guns in the U.S. and they're not going away, even if the ban- well. Now she she just said all this. Why'd you got to? Th- why you got to double tell us? For the deaf people. Oh, I'm so sorry. Way to go, Bubs. Megan uh, proposed that the problem with our country is its is 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 its mental health, and the legislation should instead be focused on institutionalization. Again, dead on. Well, and hey, I, you know what? We should be focused more on that than gun control. Well, th- what she says here, and it's like I agree with her, but also that leads to slippery slope type stuff. So For you can one, just play it. I think we really need to take a hard look at, yes, mental health and also institutionalization. Institutionalization. We need to make it easier to civilly commit people who are showing signs, red flags, that they may be the next school shooter. I'm all, hey, listen, listen, I'm more for that than uh, m- controlling guns. Let's make it easier to get people help. And rather than to make it harder for people to get guns, let's let's the root of the problem are people, yeah, sick yeah. sick people, and and you know I mean I, we have we've cut back on mental health programs f- to favor you know immigration and other not as pressing <clears throat> issues. It's just I mean she I I completely agree with her. But the problem is, is that a lot of aspects of mental health now are getting destigmatized to the point that they're getting normalized to the, to the point where it's like, oh, this is just a, uh, a lifestyle. So, for example, you know, gender dysphoria is, as far as I know, still a, a mental condition. But now if you try to commit someone who has gender dysphoria, now you're a bigot. You know what I mean? I understand exactly where you're coming so from. So you're like, saying that we've changed the bar of normality and the fact that now. It's like, oh, you're not a, you're a, a, you're a pedophile. Oh, you're, you just uh, have a different sexual orientation than other right. people. So now we don't even clear cut have just, you know, what's a problem because what potentially could be a problem that you suffer now from. Now you're a bigot if you call someone out for having gender dysphoria. We have titled that problem into a special group nonetheless Mm -hmm. and god forbid that you tell somebody they can't be part of their little special group right it's kind of like what you're saying is the fact that you know what we used can used to consider not normal and we might want to take a look at you now you are the problem if you feel that that person is not normal because you're picking you don't understand them. them right they're protected class that that whole thing. Everybody's so. protected except fat white guys. You guys got a condition just one no, no one cares about. Now, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> is, is, is this is this next thing, this California reparations, you know, thing, is this much like, and I, this honor that goes to you, I want you to answer this. Because uh, I'm from me. California? No, well, yeah, no. <laughs> if yes, I'm a representative. But, but I think. Well, you're half African American. That yeah. is true. Yeah, you're, Thank you you're for from, reminding me. <laughs> you're from California. Yeah. And you're half African American. I am, yes. So this question goes to you. Do you remember remember the, the the headlines we had a couple weeks ago? Clickbait Willie, where it was 
this senator or, or this I'm sorry, this congressman from just outside of Charleston, South Carolina had a they were no abort. There was gonna, abortions completely illegal. And if a woman was to get an abortion, she was going to be potentially oh, face yeah. death row. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's no chance in the world that's ever going to go through. It's just some harebrained idea that some congressman got so that he could get some clickbait. Yeah. yeah. Is this California reparations the same thing? And the fact that there's <laughs> no like way a bit more serious about it and not necessarily the whole Although I do state. like this guy. I like to, this guy does look like he could throw down on a good party, does he not? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Get a barbecue. strong hat game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to see this guy at a barbecue. Yeah, me too. Working the grill. Yeah. Especially after he gets 800 grand or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 800 grand, 800 million. I don't know what hell's going on. Yeah. Uh, so it seems like it's m- mostly in certain cities that want to offer this sort of thing, but I don't, I don't know if they'd be able to extend it to the, to the whole state. It seems a bit... Much. The leader of the California's first in the nation reparations task force. So this is uh, the leader what of the a task force. Dumb job, yeah. This is the leader uh. of California's task reparations task force on Wednesday said it won't take a stance on how much the state should compensate compensate black residents whom economists econom what is it, economics? I can't even see that. Economists. Economists estimate may be owed more than $800 billion for decades of over-policing, disappropriate, disappropriate incarceration, and housing discrimination. Oh, now, Christ. how do you even get a forensic accountant yeah. to come up with a number as to what that number would it's, be it's and the insane. value of being thrown in jail yeah. versus... How do you not, quantify like, that? Like, there's no... Okay, if an African American couple goes and they were they were trying to get a six hundred thousand dollar home, and the bank or whoever loans the money says no, we're not giving it to you, and they can prove that the reason why they didn't give it to you was because you're an African American. Now you can wrap your head around that. That's a number that you could prove potentially. Yeah. Right. But you can't prove these other numbers. Well, they got the advisory. Disappropriate incarceration. What's that, Lummy? Well, they have started. They try to break it down. They said they've taken everything in uh, San Francisco has and California. They have these advisory committees that have broken down every one of these things from the you know being jailed uh, to health and all those things. And San Francisco recommends a five million dollar payout as well as a Hold guaranteed on. a five million dollar per qualifying African American. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ninety-seven thousand uh, guaranteed income. A month. I mean, a year. Sorry, a year. So we're gonna get okay. But how do you how do you qualify if you're an African American person and you feel as if you should qualify for these reparations? How do you go and sign up? Like, do you, do you, like you know, how do they do? You have to have lived apply? in San Francisco for this along in, in this particular area for this amount of time. You know, because otherwise, every African American in, in in America is going to move to San Francisco if they're handing out money. Like this. Yeah. So what I'm saying is they're going to say, okay, you had to have been a resident of this particular area for this particular amount of time for you to be even able to sign up. Yeah. Like, are you, are you going to be an eight-year-old kid and, and be right. awarded $5 million? Or... Right. You know, they, they're going to have to have some type of qualifier, nonetheless, right? Yes. Like, yeah. like when they were doing the, remember the <clears throat> the PPP loans for yeah. employers, and it was like you had to have certain amount of employees you had to have retained that, you know, you could, you have not, there was a, an equation as to whether you could qualify for that money or not. They're going to have to have a qualifier, and it would be interesting to know what that qualifier would be. Right? Yes. <laughs> All forms of discrimination should be considered rep, uh, in reparations. Thomas, whoever, a public policy professor at the University of Connecticut, <sighs> told a panel on Wednesday, the task force should feel free to go beyond our, our loss estimates oh. and determine what the right amount would be. Black residents may not receive cash payments anytime soon, if ever, because, again, this is why I said what I did about the guy from South Carolina. Black residents may not receive cash payments anytime soon, if ever, because the state legislator and Gover- Governor Gavin Newsom will ultimately decide whether any reparations are to be paid. The task force faces a July 1 deadline to recommend the forms of compensation to be awarded and who should receive it along with other remedies to repair the harm. Oh, yeah, that, harm. that's going to repair the harm. 
So, like... That helps. How many people who win the lottery end up becoming broke, like, what, a couple years later? And they blow through millions and millions of dollars? You think that just giving someone $5 million for essentially no reason is going to help them in the long term and create intergenerational uh, wealth? I don't think so. Sorry. Several people who gave public comments Wednesday spoke of the urgent need to pay black Americans for all that's been taken from them. Hmm. It'll fa- never be enough for these people. <clears throat> My family came from the South because they were running for their lives. They were fearful of being lynched for just voting, said Charlton Curry of Sacramento, California, who discusses reparations on his Big C Sports podcast. Cash payments are necessary. Money talks, he said. Nothing that white people benefited from free. I'm sorry. No, noting noting that white people benefited from free U.S. government land through the 1862 Homestead Act and the Japanese Americans incarcerated during World War II and Jewish Holocaust victims received reparations as well. This sounds like an absolute crap show waiting to happen. In San Francisco's draft recommendation, uh, a person must be at least 18 years old. Okay, check. Identify as a black slash African American. Honor you're in so far. And yes. then it says eligible people must also meet two of eight other criteria. All right, give it to me. Uh, being born in or migrating to San Francisco between 1940 and 1966 and living in the city for at least 13 years. Damn it. Being displaced from San Francisco. Uh, Anna, you only need two of them. Okay. All right, go on. Being so, displaced so, hold on, from. Hold on, hold on. So, sorry. This is the honor score so far. All right, we need two. Go ahead. Being displaced from San Francisco by urban renewal between 1954 and 1973. <laughs> Be of the descendant of someone who was being a person incarcerated by the war on drugs. Did Phil ever get Wait, uh, hemmed up on. <clears throat> That's what no, it says. my dad doesn't do drugs. Being a descendant of someone who was. Being a person incarcerated so, by the war on drugs. So basically, Blitz, during the 1980s, Ronald Reagan, you know, war on drugs mm. kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Um, if your dad or your mom or, your, the, co- or your cousin. Right, they or, broke the law. Yeah, 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 yes, they broke uh-huh. the law and they were incarcerated because they broke the law. Well, the CIA <clears throat> was were, also if, filtering crack cocaine through the streets. So. If you're related, uh, did it say, did it say <laughs> related? Uh, descendant of someone descendant. who was. So if your, da- if your mo- mom or dad. Oh. Got locked up for having, you know, three crack rocks. Uh, <clears throat> that's that's a good one. Okay. A descendant of an enslaved U.S. person before 1865. How do you... Okay. How are you going to prove it? Being a descendant of a person that came from the continent of Africa. That's, that's, that's Anna. Anna. That's Anna. Anna, you're... So far, you're almost... One more. And let's see. Uh, where's the other... Had slavery... Had never had a slavery slavery restitution. Re, what was it? Refer, well, reparation. Reparation. Oh God! In in your lifetime. Yeah, you it's Anna. Uh, Anna, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. I'm very much in favor of this bill. You <laughs> are. <laughs> Someone get me a dashiki immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Radio Network will return after this. Honey's. I'm a be rich bitch. Call me Rachel Dolezal. Let's go. Yes, Queen. Yeah. Back to pee again. What's wrong with me? Are you choking on all that cash you just got? May I make your I gotta go. I make your end time. Thank you. I need a water too. Do you, does anybody <coughs> else need a water? Okay, you cool. is. Hello, YouTube. I'm over there for a second. Looks like I got big arms. I got Chico. I got James Talboom. I got Steve. Stop, stop and go, Steve. Stop and go. Stop and go. Steve. 
To Little Wilbur's afterbirth. <clears throat> Hello. Now I'm over here at Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Chris and Angela. And here we go. Rob. Mike. Riz Umble. Riz Umble. Good morning, Lummies, West Temple Mike. Lummies fucking Carlos Clem. <laughs> cocaine Carlos Clem, say it. Cookies. Cocaine Carlos Clem. West Tampa Mike. Golden Egg Layer. Morning, Skippy. S Skippy and Grizz Uper. Liz. Jesus fucking realer dot com, are you kidding me? Can't take it anymore. It's just going and going. I think realer dot com spent a zillion dollars. Yeah, probably just uh, spend two or two R. Dark Knight Steve. What's up, JG fifty one oh GG? Say that because your name says it. Sure is Donald Trizum. What's that? Oh, Donald Trizum. Tampa Terry. I was just saying it's opening day today. He's a Cubs fan. Who is? Tampa Terry. Tampa Terry's a fucking f Cubs fan? Yeah. Who the Cubs open up with today? Probably some dog shit to him. I don't know. The fucking Cubs piss me off. But why? Just the way they've handled a lot of their things. I, I don't think they should have gotten rid of Joe Madden. Me either. Joe Madden ain't got a gig right now. No, he's sitting probably in Tampa just drinking wine, sipping wine and riding his bike. As he should. Cubs open up against the... Uh, the Brewers in Chicago. What's what is um, what is the weather in Chicago like today? Oh, My little alumnus. I got a piss, but it's too late. Oh yeah, you got to be with Anna. Uh -uh. Hi, bro. Hello, Rob. Hobo. Hobo. Art Young. Steve Pettington. Hobo Sixty-seven, Jesus. mostly cloudy. Bad Bay Bay, Angela Ward. What? What's up? No, third. Wiz Ord. Angela Facebook Wiz Ord from Fort Walton Beach. The high is 53 today. Pretty nice. I'd like it. All right. Oh, shit. What's up, eight and John? Baby, 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 baby. Remember that song? Baby. Love me. Yeah. Remember that baby, that baby, that Dead baby. baby. It's a danger, day, dangerous game out there. That baby. Marjorie Taylor got her fucking suspended Twitter gimmick. I can't even get my move back. <laughs> Sunbelt Red Studios, <laughs> it's the Bubba Love Show. 
Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boy. Well, I don't even know what kind of royalty free willy this is, kiddo. I thought you played your uh, CD for a second. Me too. <laughs> oh, somebody's on the warm line. Hello? Hello? Check the mic. Let me see right, boy. Hello, how much money do I owe you? Tell me where to send it. White boy. Can you even say that nowadays? If you're a white guy, can you say, hey, white boy? Oh, that's a lot. That's a slur, heavy. That's a heavy slur coming from me, white boy. It sound right, boy. Yeah. Well, there's the funky worm here, let me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's what it's uh, called. The is funky, that really the, called? the honest to God in the rap terms, it's called the funky worm. Mm. Mm. Hear it? Hear it, let me? Mm. It hits, kid. <laughs> Just ride this out. Get the hell on out of here, kid. Hello? Yeah, you're talking about reparations? Yeah. Tucker talked about this years ago. It started in South Africa. They have the Truth and Reconciliation Committee. They're going through that country right now. They're taking white people's land and giving it to black people. And this country, if, if you don't think it can't happen here, you're not paying attention because it's already happening and it's going to happen real quick. And the day I start paying reparations is the day I stop paying taxes. It sounds right, boy. <laughs> Good music for uh for your for your monologue, nonetheless, sir. <laughs> I'm not even arguing with you. I'm just letting you Thanks, take it right on over, kid. All right, I'm telling you, Tucker brought this up years ago, and it's already happening here. <clears throat> where, now, when you say here, where where do you? I mean, are you talking about as as a country? It's starting the ball. You know, it's starting that process is what you're saying. Yeah, it's starting in this country, and as usual, okay. everything starts in California with the liberals. I live in Pennsylvania. This state's so screwed up, we elected Fetterman. So, is he still like, institutionalized? Is, is he still yeah. like in, in the hospital? Is he still in the hospital for depression or something? Yeah, but, I try not to even pay attention but, to yeah. where he is, but I think he might still be. Yeah, but I will tell you. In. But I will tell you this, sir. I agree with you on Fetterman. I agree with I. Put, I, I, I pretty much you know agree with you on on. I don't know a lot about. What they did in Africa and who, 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 what they took from who. I don't know anything about that. I don't necessarily know if it's going to go that way here. But I will tell you this. You can only blame your fellow GOP leaders in Pennsylvania for putting up stupid-ass Dr. Oz to go against Fetterman. They should have found somebody far better than that. Just like the people in, 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 in uh, Georgia should have found somebody better than uh, Herschel Walker. Right. I mean, to, I mean, uh, I mean, really, Herschel Walker, I love I've had him on my show. I don't know that he's politic, you know, politician uh, quality. Nonetheless, uh, but it wouldn't matter no matter who the Republicans put up. The media vilifies them so bad. I had no problem with Dr. Oz. They vilify whoever's going against the Democrats. The media controls all these elections. I don't I, listen. I don't I don't necessarily I don't necessarily disagree with you, buddy. Uh, you can say that I I can't necessarily on all of my forums, but uh, you can. I I don't I, I can't tell you what to say. I know, and I agree with most. I agree with ninety percent of what you say, but sometimes I disagree. But, but that's okay. You don't hate me for it, nonetheless. No, I love you. I, I mean, love that, but you. that's but that see that's that's because you're a real dude, and because that's the way we we should be as a country. That's the way we should be as a society, and the fact that we we can disagree a little bit here and there, or even oh, a, yeah. even a lot of it. We can even agree, disagree a lot of it. But in today's world, man, as soon as you disagree with somebody, you try to get them canceled. You try to get them. You try to paint them with a a very unfair, broad brush. And it's just, I'm really concerned about where we're headed as a society. I I, I really think that we could implode in the next twenty years as as a society, completely implode. Yeah, it won't take long. It, as soon as Mandela got out of jail in South Africa, they they took over that quick and. Uh, getting back to your show, 
I love all you guys, but when Babyface is on, I turn it off. Well, yeah, Babyface is going to hold on. Babyface is going to be on today on Rumble at about ten fifteen, and I'm there. I'm there to. I'm supposed to be there to equalize them out a little bit, and I'll try to do a little better job for you. All right, we'll keep up the good work. Thank you, buddy. What part of Pennsylvania? I used to live in Philly back in the day and work at uh, a Hot One Hundred Two. No, I'm sorry, what, what, Q One Hundred Two. Well, I'm originally from New Jersey, but now I'm in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the old steel mills right down the road. Yeah, and that's also sprint car country, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man, appreciate your call. Appreciate you listening to us. By what means do you do you watch or listen to us? Most of the time, Twitch, but when you're not on, I just go on 8.20 a.m. I stream 8.20 a.m. right off my phone. Perfect. So that's, I, that, that's like a tune-in kind of deal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Stream on. Huh? Okay. Stream on. All right, bud. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we'll take. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm getting. Looks like Fetterman comes back in two weeks. Hello. Hey, I was trying to call in while you had uh, old timer from Pennsylvania on the phone. <laughs> yeah, well, you can like, see people hate you, buddy. They do. They really do. I mean, listen, and that's, and that's fine. I don't mind the hate. I just. If you, you could know, just, I, if, if you could just, you know, I can tell you, man, we could probably use you more here on the show if you could just, just not have such a, you know, God, people hate you, buddy. And, and that's fine. Again, I'm fine with the hate. It's just so funny to me that he is such a snowflake that he can't hear a countervailing opinion and, and listen to the show. Like, it's impossible for him to sit and listen to me when I'm on the show because I don't. Well, how do you then, then how do you address his concerns? Let's go ahead and go ahead and give you the opposing or just I, your. Hold, I, on, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. Just give me your opinion on his opinion. Well, I, I didn't catch all of it. I caught. I was on a call with a client and turned it on because I try to listen on the days that I'm going to be in with you to see because sometimes you'll say, hey, remember, did you catch the show earlier? But um, I, I imagine he was calling about Fetterman not being in good shape. Um, well, he was originally I, calling, about, he was calling about reparations, and he said that in South Africa and Africa that uh, eventually uh, all, all white people or a lot of white people lost their land to African Americans, and that's what it's going to happen. The African Americans in Africa. Is that what he said, though? I mean, I'm going to make sure that I said it correctly. <laughs> they were taking. I, I I was unaware of the legislation, but apparently they were taking land owned by white farmers and giving it, you know, quote back to the. Oh yeah, that was happening. Owners. That right. was happening in the 2000s. And, and, and a lot of it, what it seemed like, was just vigilante stuff. Yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of it was just they were coming in <laughs> and saying, "By the way, this I ours. own this farm now." Now, if you don't want to die, you're you're right. But, but the government was yeah. taking because my original boss at the Island Race were based from South Africa, and his whole family left because of it. They were and then he said that that's where we're headed. And when that starts happening here, is when he's st- is going to stop paying taxes, and then the wheels will fall, something like that. Yeah, Good. it'll 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 work out well for him, I'm sure. Um, the 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 thing with the reparations, we're too far removed from it for it to work. Like in in South Africa, they were dealing with actual live action apartheid, like uh, people who were actively being financially and and socially oppressed. Uh, so it's a little bit of a different situation there. I'm still not for people saying this is my farm now, I'm taking it. That's not that's not cool. But to to the, the situations are so drastically different. Like this is the reparations is something that should have happened 200 300 years ago, 250 years ago. Um, so it's, it's to me. So, it's, I mean, it's, since it's, it didn't happen, to, since it didn't happen 250 years ago, and the longer we go, the harder it is to determine how a person could qualify for that. Doesn't that make it an absolute goat rope in itself? Yeah. And it's not, and, and P.S., it's not going to happen. So, you know, it, it, it's cute when politicians, you know, want to get themselves on the news. And so they bring this stuff up and, and they want to be, you know, out there, but it's not going to happen. Um, that's it's just not going to happen. There will not be massive reparations ever awarded in this country. Now, how ever. did you how did you feel about we we covered a little bit today? Where and I and and not to, but your daughter's not even close to middle school, is she? Not I mean, she's like in LM, she's like a second grader, isn't she? She's like uh, five she's pre pre K. Oh, okay. All right. I, again, I'm I'm just trying to get the bearings. No, but okay. how how is your what's your stance on the uh, the gay book being pulled out of Hillsborough County Middle Schools? Uh, you know, I, I I think I think that if you're looking at specific books that are clearly sexualized to the point of almost being pornographic, I, I'm I'm okay with that being removed. If you're removing a book because it's too two male penguins that raised a baby in, at the New York Zoo, 
which which actually happened. Um, but hold on, but I, hold on, but wasn't this this particular in this that wasn't this instance, nonetheless? No, no, that wasn't this instance. And like I said, if if the if the content of the book is objectionable, and you have a, a open dialogue and discussion as to why it should not be there, and the school board votes to remove it based upon the content of that book being objectionable because it's almost pornographic. Just because something is mentioned sex or has, you know, sex in it, uh, that is not to me a, a reason to exclude it completely. Um, but, 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 the way that, but the way this went down is exactly how it should go down and they handled it within the school board. And if you don't like the, 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 you know, the outcome, then do your research and put a new person in there that represents you for your school board. But they handled it via a vote and both, both sides got to speak and then they voted on it. That's the way that these things should be handled. And, that, and I think they, they handled it the right way. And, and, I, don't, and I don't disagree with that. I, I disagree with going in and removing all books from the school and then having a arbitrary panel determine what is decent and what is indecent. I'm, I'm totally against that. But I'm okay with an open dialogue in a forum following protocol and procedure and whatever the results are, those are the results. And if the community doesn't like it, you can vote out the school board and re-raise the issue when the new school board's in place. But I don't like uh, arbitrary, uh, uh, unaccounted for processes where th these things are done, you know, w without any discussion. No, and and I, I, said and that about the, I said that about the Confederate statues, too. I said, you don't go knocking those down. You don't go vandalizing. You do it through the right way, through the proper channels. You have votes. You, 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 you have elected officials that you trust with this, and you do it the right way. Right. And if they if your elected officials would arbitrarily decide to knock some of these Confederate things down, well, those are the people you put in office. And so that responsibility inevitably is the people that put people in, in office. Yep. And, and, and that should be the process. And with regard to Fetterman, you can find audio of me on your show saying Democrats cannot be hypocrites and say that Herschel Walker is unelectable because he says things that are unintelligible, talking about werewolves and zombies and whatever, and, and at the same time say that Fetterman's fit to hold office because he's not, and he wasn't. And uh, I have a problem with politicians that, are, that may not even, if, if you can't sign a contract, how can you sign off on a bill? It, you know, that, that, I, I don't know that he's mentally competent. And who, the, pre the president or Fetterman or both? <laughs> <laughs> well, Fetterman for sure. The president has moments of lucidity that we've seen on film. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it the most that we've ever seen in our lifetime as a president? The most what? The most inept, you know, like... Uh, well, they, they hid Ronnie, rapping Ronnie Reagan towards the end pretty well. Um, let's not forget that he, he was pretty far gone at the end of his eight years. Yeah, but, you know, so, but, but hold on. We've got to be fair about this. No, 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 no. hold on. It no, no. doesn't seem like he's all there, but Rap and Ronnie was pretty much going through dementia at the end of well, his presidency. Hold on now. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. Not arguing with you a bit, but there were also a couple things to, for you to consider. One, Rap and Ronnie got shot, <laughs> and, and we've now let that guy go. And two, the country wasn't in such disarray as it is now. So, you know, people, I think people will give the president a little bit of a break when he's, when he's, I don't know, rapping Ronnie's goodbye speech or, and, you know, it was not, he was pretty still, I know it's written and he's an actor, but, you know, his farewell speech wasn't that, I, I can only imagine what Biden's farewell speech well, will be. Well, you're also, I'm going to tell you something, I'm only in this Oval but, Office because they got chocolate Brian, chip ice cream. Brian's saying that they hid Ronald Reagan toward the end of his, but when he was elected, he had all his wits with him. Well, Biden, when he was elected, he he did fine in, 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 when he was in front of the camera. Did I mean, he? he, he yeah, there's a lot of gaps. When he, there was a lot of gaps when he was on his Zoom calls that he didn't even know what was going on because he was always doing the Zoom. Somebody send me Ronald Reagan's farewell speech if you can, if you guys can find it. I'd just like to to have that just to see, you know, how how far gone Rap and Ronnie Reagan was. If, if Fetterman is not competent, he should be recalled. Period. And, and I don't care that he's a Democrat or a Republican. If you cannot go out there and read a bill and be present and do your job, then you don't need to be doing that job that you've been elected and that you're paid handsomely and you get great benefits for doing. What's going to happen to my Aaron Rodgers? I mean, you know, I hate you know, I hate him now. 
after after Brian Gukel Hunts came out and said that uh, Rodgers ghosted him and would have zero conversations with him, and they reached out to him I don't know how many times, and he completely ghosted him after he got back from the darkness. I hate Aaron Rodgers now. I hope he you, I hope I hope he breaks his leg in the first game. You oh should. You you should feel that way about that pre Madonna. Yeah, Brian doesn't like Aaron Rodgers at all. Pre Madonna bitch. Yeah, and I mean, do, I mean, what's going to happen here? I mean, I, I, the Packers. Well, they could... have until what April fifteenth or seventeenth to either trade him or face. It, which what Aaron Rodgers will do is show up to open workouts, and because he clearly mm-hmm. wants out of Green Bay, like that that is absolutely a definite. So he what if he shows? Be... What if he shows up to open workouts and then Lafleur goes uh, uh, right there on the bench there, twelve? That's where you're at, kid. It's a shit show, isn't it? Oh, oh Brian, is not the killer B show yeah, yet, yeah, bitch? Yeah. Brian, you you are an edge, one of the most smartest people I know. You should know that that didn't fly Jeez. on terrestrial radio. Oh, you oh, idiot. The problem is, I haven't been on the the big show in so long. Jesus, I say you're sorry immediately. That should get you almost removed. I'm sorry. Do you need help with your cell phone bill, buddy? Because I texted you twice yesterday with no response. Oh, I, <laughs> I, I, cha- I changed my number. I need to give you my you new know, you one. You didn't make the cut. <laughs> Oh, oh no. damn! He didn't make the oh, cut. Oh, he's no. one of the fleas, and he had a shake. Oh, Brian! I'll Brian. give it to you. I just, you know, oh, I haven't. Man. I just completely. I've just. It's been so nice not getting texts from Brian. <laughs> no, from from everybody, from from Hootie to, to, to everybody in between. Oh man! Maybe, as soon as I get your new number, I'm giving it to Amex and Citibank. <laughs> no, you you are certainly somebody that I want to have my number, my friend. I'm so sorry that I did not get it to you. I'll get it. How to long ago did you change it? Um, what, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Something like yeah. that. I've been sending you D-picks this whole time and you haven't got yeah, them? Yeah, I haven't got any of your D-picks. The problem, thank God, because I never they don't usually show up that well anyway. Imagine, imagine the next person that gets your number, Bubba. Oh, my God. They're gonna, <laughs> oh, yeah. Good luck. Uh, anyway, we're, we're, we're going to try to start. I mean, can you get here by like 10 after? I'll be I'll be there. I can get there at 10. Like, whenever you want me there or need me there, because, cause, yeah, I got I to gotta cut. You know, like, well, I, I assume I Brian's kicked back at his desk right now. He's got the speakerphone yeah. going, like he's just chilling. Yeah. Um, what time is your heart out? Uh, Eleven forty-five. All right. So get here by by five after ten. I'll, I'll be there. Okay, buddy. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. 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 Here is I, as I, I asked for who got it to me, but thank you. This is the thirty-fourth time I'll speak to you from the Oval Office, and the last. We've been together eight years. I'm already telling you right now, he's <laughs> so much better than Biden. 39% better than what we got right now. With just a, right now. Yeah. What do you have, a broken now finger? Wrist? Yeah, I hard telling. Maybe Nancy crossed her legs and he was giving her the two-fingered willy. <laughs> hard telling. <laughs> just want to let you know. <laughs> For me to go. Oh, well, I just want to let you know that Nancy crossed her legs when I was doing a Cheetos deal. He probably on slipped on a puddle. He probably did. Uh, but but do- I'm just telling you, how, no matter how old he, Ronald is, he just comes across, like, I don't know, he just, I don't know. It was, Smooth. It was a better time, too. I wanted to share some thoughts, some of which I've been saving for a long time. It's been the honor of my life to be your president. You don't hear him slurring words. You, I, I mean, right? I mean, you don't hear him. Mm-hmm. President. So many of you have written the past few weeks to say thanks. And not only that, Lummy, but this is his last day, you know, one of his last couple of days as being president. Yeah, Find me two when he's when he's two years into his second term. That would be what, what you would usually use as a parallel, right? Yeah. Because Biden is now two years and a couple months into his sec into his first term. Into his term. Yeah. Well, show show me Ronald's. Well, it's second that would be 90, uh, 87, right? Yeah. So that'd be the the speech of Berlin Wall. Yeah. But I could say as much to you. Nancy and I are grateful for the opportunity you gave us to serve. One of the things about the presidency is that you're always somewhat apart. You spend a lot of time going by too fast in a car someone else is driving and seeing the people through tinted glass, the parents holding up a child and the is this a tear, tear, tear yeah, down the wall? This is 87. Yeah, so this would be comparable to what Joe is in his presidency. Not, you know, not. we would only be able to compare Joe's farewell speech when he finally gives it here, January of 2025. Hopefully. Right? Yes, hopefully. Every man is a Berliner forced to look upon a scar. President von Weizsäcker has said the German question is open as long as the Brandenburg Gate is closed. 
What does he say, Gorby? Tear down that wall. That's pretty much almost toward the end, isn't is it? it? Is it towards the end? Where he says Gorby, doesn't he? I don't know where, where he says it at. Gorbachev. The totalitarian world finds even symbols of love and of worship an affront. Years ago, before the Germans began rebuilding their churches, they erected a secular structure. The television tower at Alexander Platz. Virtually ever since. Joe, Joe Biden couldn't get through any of this. He couldn't do this. The mm -hmm. authorities have been working to correct what they view as the tower's one major flaw. Treating the glass sphere at the top with paints and chemicals of every kind. Yet even today, when the sun strikes that sphere, that sphere that towers over all Berlin, the light makes the sign of the cross. Man, Joe would be yeah. like... Yeah. <clears throat> I wish I wish I could find tearing down that wall when we go into work. City itself, symbols of love, symbols of worship, cannot be suppressed. As I looked out a moment ago from the Reichstag, that embodiment of German unity, I know words crudely spray painted upon the wall, perhaps by a young Berliner. Quote, this wall will fall, beliefs become reality. I mean, Anna, he just had the it factor, did he not? He sure did. God, he, and good speech writers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you take good speech writers with an actor, and you got yourself a good combo. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> I think this is where the high spot comes, and we're going into words. Let me thereafter. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yes, across Europe this wall will fall, for it cannot withstand faith. It cannot withstand truth. The wall cannot withstand freedom. And I would like, before I close, to say one word. I have read and I have been questioned since I've been here about certain demonstrations against my coming. And I would like to say just one thing, and to those who demonstrate so. I wonder if they have ever asked themselves that if they should have the kind of government they apparently seek, no one would be able to do what they're doing again. Let's go. God damn, yeah, makes you want to go run through the wall yourself, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have had Lummi Kool-Aid right through the goddamn Ooh, wall. Hell yeah. <laughs> right? He's right, too. No, he's, he's so, I mean, God, he is so good. I know he was kind of a bad president in some people's opinions. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I guess we didn't get oh, the ice oh. cream. Uh, yeah, didn't get it, Lummy. Dang it! It's all right. We gotta go into words, so we're not late, though. We can end on time, okay? Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs>
What about good pets? I got full blown stage six the, dods in the legs. Full blown. Yeah, they look really good though. Stage six dods on. Your your calves oh, yeah, are Yeah, I died last year. Did he? August thirtieth. Was he like eighty five? You. Death. 91, wow. motherfucker. With that nice fucking coffee stain on his goddamn head. We're filthy McNasties. Oh dear. Having under. Strizap. Let's go. What's up, Maria? Guatemala? <clears throat> Canada Mark. What's up, Sicilian Redneck? What a deal. Here comes Booby. Penis got a little hard for it. Let me stop. Oh, oh, sorry. Am I not supposed to say that? Oh, I feel it now. <laughs> Shut up, let me. I hit your fingers. Ah. My fingers. Oh Sam. god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. That's a fucking hey. soda can right there. It is. I was. I, I did urinate, and I thought as if I was really laying good, so that's why I came and put it on your back. I see it. I want to get an elbow. You want to get a no, coke can I'm, too? I got a coke can going on right now. I can't. It's too Ew, close. Okay. Yeah. See, I, but see, I knew that that could warning be. warning me, yeah. No, I just wanted the elbow uh, minus the Coke can. No, no Coke can. I got a red, I got a red Bull can right now. He's looking good right now. I think it's more of a Coke can, Bubba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. What time is it? Oh, oh there it is. What you see? Oh, dear. Oh. Go, go. Oh. oh. There goes Going the shoulder. way around you, look. More space. Yeah, that thing's popping through the shorts. Oh, Jesus. No, it's not. A little bit. <laughs> Wait, through or under? Through. It's through. Over the waistband and through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. What did you say? You know, the child's uh, nursery. Mommy. Mommy. Oh, thank you. Mommy. Thank you, Bubba. Oh, dear. I don't have the Snickers in my pocket. Man, people can't even give me a... 
Right, proper credit. Bell Rental Studios. It's the Bubba the Love Fun Show. Yay. Uh, the Bump of the Love Sponge Show at 10.15, 10.15, 10 10.20 will be live on Rumble. Me, uh, Brent Hadley, and Brian Matroni. Uh, Rumble.com forward slash The Bubba Army. You're not going to have us on YouTube or Facebook. I'm so sorry. But you can also get us on TuneIn, The Bubba Army app, and BubbaArmyRadio.com. Lummy, people don't, even when I'm laying nice, Lummy, and I kind of want to give you a little munty, yeah. you know, I was, just, I was just giving you a little munty. Thank you. Because we have our own little language. And then people are like, you know, Bubba had a Snickers bar in his in his pants. That's why he muntied on Lummy. And Lummy, you knew that was, you could tell that was very natural. Oh, could you not? of course. Yes, I could. It looks like we have documentation Easily. of it, too. Yes, we do. You always have something to hold over my head. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I did rub my penis on his back. Mm. I, but let me, will you go on record by saying that you enjoy it and you like it as much as you can get? I enjoy it and I like it as much as... Can't rate the willing, as they say. That's right. And I'm over 18. <laughs> All right, man, we're out of here. Uh, Anna, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You as well. Let's get, can you get me set up? Absolutely. And everybody in Lummy? Yes, bye-bye. Thank you. I'll... I guess we'll see you tomorrow, right? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for letting me finish. You've been listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge Show, starring me, Bubba the Love Sponge. Operations manager and co-host, Blitz K. Co-host and show historian, Lummox. Co-host, Anna Hummel. Co-host, Dr. Dan Diaco, Esquire of Council. Co-host, J. Diaco, Esquire, the Spitting Cobra of Council. The BRN agent, Thomas Buttoned Up B. And for everything else, go to thebubbaarmy.com. Now, time for the legal disclaimer. Exactly. The Bubba the Love Sponge Show is intended solely for the enjoyment of our listening audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this show without express written consent of the Bubba Radio Network is prohibited. We must dissuade him of this delusion. <laughs> Until next time, always remember. Oh, we pay hello. Oh.